Live on Nevada Sportsnet. Nevada Sportsnet is your home for high school sports. Right online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Sixty-seven degrees in Reno. Welcome back to Don Weir Field, Piccoli Park. Zach Bash and John Ramey with you ahead of Game Two between the Beavers and the Wolf Pack. Hello to those of you joining us on the television side on Nevada Sports Net and on the Mountain West Network. And hello to those of you who have already tuned in on the Varsity Network and enjoyed the Bud Light pregame show. Let's get you the starting pitching matchup. It's Leif Palmer, the right-hander, going for Oregon State. He's 1-1 one one on the year with an 11-5-7 earned run average. This will be his fourth appearance and his first start. He's worked only two and a third so far this year. Nico Wagner goes for the pack. Appearance number 10 for Nico, but start number one. He's 0-2 with a 5-9-3 ERA. He's worked 13 and two-thirds of an inning. Last night in game one, it was the Beavers taking advantage, as you might expect, a 30 and five team ranked number five of the nation would do, of six Nevada errors, plating seven unearned runs. And Zach Bash, that was a game that the Beavers won by seven. Now, it's a little too simple to say that Nevada wins that game without the mistakes because Oregon State displayed some really aggressive baseball to take advantage. They did. They certainly took advantage of all the mistakes and, you know, not just the errors. We talked about it last night. Wild pitches, I think 10 walks. Uh, you know, it just, the game really got away from Nevada in the middle innings. And, and I think the plus side is they played them real tough for half a game, which, you know, like we said, no moral victories. But they showed in the first half of that game that they're just as good of a team as Oregon State. Slightly interesting conditions here, 67 degrees and blue skies with clouds, but the wind is out of the north, Zach. That is not the usual uh, prevailing condition here at Piccoli Park. And in fact, here in the yard, it's blowing out to right, so it's kind of from the north and then curving to the west. The lefties are like, finally. Finally, right. Finally, the lefties are like, my turn. <laughs> Because usually that wind comes over the right field fence, barreling down the eastern slope of the Sierra Nevada mountain range like a great tsunami blowing towards the left field corner. But today it's blowing out to right. So, yeah, lefties delighted to see these conditions here. It's a beautiful day, another great day here in the Truckee Meadows. And, uh, well, if you're listening to this or you're watching this, you can come on down. Let's pause for the anthem. Fans, we now ask that you will rise and remove your caps and join us in the playing of the national anthem. <laughs> We're the Jansons with SierraBuys.com. We know the easiest way to sell your home. If you have a few minutes, we hope that you'll give us the opportunity to make you an instant offer on your house. With SierraBuys.com, we'll buy your house in as-is condition with no inspection, no repairs, no closing costs, and no commissions. You can even choose your own closing date. Call our dad for an offer on your house. 455 to sell your house today. Watch NSN Tonight, weeknights at 10.35 p.m. following the Fox 11 News at 10. And on Nevada Sportsnet at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. The reigning champs are making another run for the cup. Score! Starting now, every minute counts. The Vegas Golden Knights hosts the Anaheim Ducks. Coverage starts Thursday night at 6.30, only on NSN. This is what a fight looks like. That's right, this is an attorney at Bradley Drenlin Janae fighting for a client. It may be hard to tell, but he's winning big. Maybe we should add some fight sound effects to make it more thrilling to watch at home. Okay, watching us fight isn't that exciting, unless you're the client that just notched a big win. Bradley Drenlin Janae, the number one firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. I'm Jared Lucas, all-conference guard for the Nevada Wolfpack basketball team. 
The grind of the basketball season is long, and being able to go with somebody that I trust, like Dr. Morgan Rivetti, can be essential in being able to be adjusted and, and go into a game and feel great and play at a high level. I come from a family of athletes, and treating our local athletes here in this community is something that's really important to our practice. For appointments, call Northwest Reno Chiropractic at 775-324-3700 or go to northwestrenochiropractic.com. Macias, Turley, Guerra, Hainline, Craig, Reeder, Talt, Trotsky, Smith, the nine for Oregon State. And they will face Nico Wagner for the Wolfpack, appearance number 10 and start number one for Nico, a freshman from South Tahoe High School, South Lake Tahoe, California. 6'5", 200 pound right-hander. Nico has worked 13 and two thirds, nine earned runs, 15 hits, 11 strikeouts, seven walks. Opposing batters at 283 against him. He's 0 and 2 with a 593 earned run average. And we should also point out before we get any further into the proceedings that Travis Bazana, potentially the overall number one pick in the upcoming Major League Draft and the outstanding infielder for the Beavers who left yesterday after being hit by a pitch on the hand, is fine. He had an MRI, it was negative. He is out of the lineup today. He hopes to return to action this weekend at California. But he is just sitting out today as a precaution, and Zach, that is very good news. Yeah, nobody wants to see that with a player of his caliber and the future that he has. I mean, obviously a huge year for him to go out. I mean, you just the last thing you want to see as an opposing team, or obviously their team as well. So great, great news about him, and uh, I guess the pack will catch a small break, although we saw Jeff and Trotsky yesterday when he came in the game. He had a pretty phenomenal, he was all over the place uh, filling in for Bizzano yesterday. So we'll uh, kind of like to see nine out of Trotsky today, and I'm sure he's pumped to get another opportunity. Here's Dallas Messia, switch hitter. Ready to climb into the left-hand batter's box. 67 degrees, winds out of the north officially at 11 miles an hour. Lots of sunlight on the field here at Don Weir Field, Piccoli Park. First pitch from Nico Wagner is down low at 6.07. One ball and no strikes to Dallas Macias. Dallas at 3.09, four home runs, 26 runs batted in, and the aforementioned 12 game hit streak for Oregon State. Slightly open stance in that left hand batter's box. The fastball is inside, and it's two balls and no strikes. Wagner doesn't use a windup. Nico comes home 2-0. It's inside three balls and no strikes. Ken Diber is the home plate umpire. Joseph Penna at third. Jeffrey Macias at second base and Travis Schatzman at first base. 3-0 to the leadoff man. And the pitch. The strike not held by Nolan Wilson, the catcher. Three balls and one strike to Dallas Macias. To start the ball game. Macias was one for five with two runs scored in Oregon State's 12-5 triumph yesterday in game one. Three balls and one strike at the pitch. Grounded to the right side. That's Mason Hirata, gloving and throwing the first in time. That's how this one begins. Dallas Macias grounds out to second base. One out, base is empty for Gavin Turley. Gavin Turley. Leading RBI man on this Oregon State squad with 47 runs batted in, including two yesterday. Nice to see Harada get an early chance. I'm sure he's excited he hasn't played in a while. And, you know, when you don't get a ton of reps out there, the ball tends to find you. And lo and behold, first at bat, sharply hit ball right at him, and he fielded it cleanly. Righty on righty, first pitch off speed, check swing strike to Gavin Turley. Kind of like in football, you know, they're always saying the quarterback needs to get that first hit to get to get going, and it's kind of like first to bat of the game, just get a bullet right at you, and now he's ready to go. Hirata now on the left side of the infield as Nevada shifts. That ball is whipped to the left side, a call with a nice pick from third, then throws wild at first, and save is Turley. Call is at third base, moved over from shortstop in this lineup tonight and made a nice one hop or short hop pick to keep that on the infield. But then the throw was errant, and that is error number one on the Wolfpack. Seventh error of this midweek series. For those watching it, I mean, that, that was a very tough play to, to pick, pick it, but 
Unfortunately, the letter of the law says that that play is two separate plays. So once you get up and set your feet and make a throw. Strike one to Mason Guerra, nothing in one. They call that like, uh, there's probably a term for it that I don't know, but it's, it's basically two separate. What's, yeah, great play. If he if he boots that up with the glove on the on the line drive, it's probably ruled a hit. But once you feel to cleanly get up, set your feet, make a throw, it's considered a new play. Therefore, that's uh, E5. Strike two on the outside to Guerra. 0-2 to the right-hand swinging third baseman for Oregon State. Turley at first base, one out, no score top of the first. Guerra hitting 290. Seven home runs, 42 runs batted in for the Beavers. Wagner deals. Fastball high, one ball and two strikes. Turley two for three, stealing. And Nolan Wilson behind the plate, not Jake Harvey tonight. So you just wonder if the always aggressive Beavers will be maybe even a little more aggressive with a backup catcher. One, two, and that is in the dirt and threw Wilson to the backstop and Turley is to second base on a wild pitch. So an error and a wild pitch and the Beavers have a runner in scoring position with one out of the top of the first. Much deserved day off for Jake. Indeed. Jake he's, been catch, he's been catching a lot of innings back there. I'm sure, you know, he always want to play. I'm sure he wants to play, but his body will thank him when he uh, straps on the gear on Friday at UNLV. Catching is demanding. Turley away from second now. Two and two to Guerra. And that's a little flare towards second. Coming over from first is Pierce, who's playing way off the bag. So Guerra pops out to the first baseman. Two outs in the visitors first. And Elijah Hainline, the shortstop, the cleanup man, comes up for Oregon State. No runs, no hits, no errors for the Beavers. Turley at second base, reached on a Nevada error earlier in the frame. Wilson, the Wolfpack catcher, a call at third. Michael Ball plays shortstop. Mason Arata at second, and Pierce at first. Defensively for Nevada. First pitch, fastball strike on the outside half, nothing in one. In the pack outfield, J.R. Freedy in left, Katakutan in center, and Waller in right. And as the sun dips behind the right field corner, the tough sun field will be left field and the left side of the infield, and that pitch is up high and away. One ball and one strike to Elijah. He's at 291, seven home runs, 27 runs batted in. Turley kept close by Harada, who cheats towards the bag from defensive second base in the 1-1. One -one. Up and in. Off speed, two balls and one strike to Hainline. Elijah was 0 for 3, but scored twice and drew two walks yesterday for Oregon State. Two and one. Wagner checks the runner, comes to the plate. Fastball flared to shallow right for a base hit. Turley's around third. He's coming in, and it's 1 0 Oregon State. Hain line, RBI single the other way. So, error wild pitch and a two out opposite field single. Oregon State draws first blood. It's 1 0 Beavers. Jacob. And here's Craig with a runner at first and two outs. Not very hard contact, but with two outs, you just want to put the bat on the ball. And kind of thought the wind might carry it out a little bit with the wind blown out to right, but alas, that was not the case. Oregon State scored first yesterday as the throw to first base as Hainline diving back in safely. Oregon State won yesterday after scoring first. They are 21 and two when scoring first, including eight and two away from home. Breaking ball for a strike and it's nothing in one. You hate to even bring it up after yesterday because we were trying to move on, but <laughs> unearned run, John. Yeah. How about this stat? You know, the Beavers getting the advantage here early. And the Beavers had a a three run second yesterday. That pitch is low and away. One ball, one strike to Jacob Craig. It's one nothing Oregon State with two outs in the top of the first. Oregon State in the first three innings this season has outscored the opposition 127 to 40. The runner bluffs. The 1 1 pitch is waved out and missed, and it's 1 and 2 to Craig. I'll repeat that. In the first three innings this year, Oregon State has outscored the opposition 127 to 40. 
Would you like that as a starting pitcher? Would that make you pitch well? <laughs> I mean, that's a great advantage as the pitch is outside. You know, as much of an offensive stat, it sounds like oh, that's a lot of runs. That really is a testament to their starting pitching as well. They're saying first time through, you're just not scoring against not them. Not scoring. I mean, that's, that's what, one and a 1.3 or four or five runs, you know, per game in the two, first two three innings? Pitch is inside, and it's three and two to Craig with a runner at first and two out. They're just saying, good luck. First time through, you're just you're just not going to score. And it's pretty wild. Right? Probably our offense is going to put up three or four. Shout out Hank Hager, the outstanding SID for Oregon State, with a great statistic in today's updated game notes. Great notes. Great notes. 3-2 pitch with the runner going is tapped slowly to the left side. A call charging. Gloves, throws. Got him. A call with a charging play to retire Craig and set down the Beavers. But Oregon State strikes for one unearned run on one hit. There was one error and a man left. We go to the bottom of the first. It is Oregon State 1 and Nevada coming up. We'll pack baseball from Learfield. Dear sports fans. Dear unbreakable spirit, when the terrain is gnarly, you steady us. When obstacles are ahead, you lift us. When the turf is hostile, you inspire us. Own a legend, Toyota Trucks. Get 1.99% APR financing for up to 48 months on a new Tundra, or get 4.99% APR financing for up to 60 months on 4Runner. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. This is the first new ad Bradley Drenlin Janae has made in about two years. Instead of filming new ads, we've been doing what we do best, representing our clients after a life-changing accident or injury. And they need us working on their cases, not new commercials. So that's what we decided to film. Your work is more important than this. Bradley Drenlin Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. State one and Nevada coming up bottom of the first inning starting lineup for Jake McKinley second year skipper for the Wolfpack Nevada checks in at 14 and 18 on the season Jesse Pierce leads off plays first base Michael Ball at shortstop batting second John Reagan free the left field bats third for the Wolfpack Taylor Holder the DH in the four spot the cleanup man Nolan Wilson at catcher tonight batting fifth Jackson Waller in right field hits sixth. Justin Acall sliding over to third base and batting seventh for the silver and blue. Josh Katakutan in center field bats eighth. Mason Hirata gets the call at second base tonight and bats ninth for the Wolfpack. Pierce Ball and Freedy. Holder Wilson Waller. Acall Katakutan and Hirata the nine for the Wolfpack against Leif Palmer. Palmer. One and one on the year, a freshman from Golden, Colorado. And the first pitch is swung on and served a right and Pierce with an opposite field single to begin the Wolfpack night at the plate. One swing, one hit, one base runner, and the tying run is aboard for Nevada. One run, one hit, no errors for Oregon State. No runs, one hit, and one error for Nevada. Michael Ball bats with a man at first and nobody out. We talked about what a tall order it is to pitch against this Oregon State Club, but this Nevada team can swing it as well, and you're talking about a freshman, true freshman, that's thrown just about two innings all year. First pitch, fastball misses outside, 1-0 to ball. Pitching on the road in a, in a tough environment, tough ballpark to pitch in, a little bit breezy, altitude, etc. It's going to be no picnic for him. Pierce at first, where he is 7 of 8 stealing on the year, and Craig keeps him close. The 1-0. Popped up, foul wide of first. Craig near the coach's box. Calls for it, backpedals and makes the catch in foul ground. Ball pops out, foul to first base. One out in the bottom of the first. J.R. Free the bats with Pierce at first. One nothing Oregon State. J.R. Free the. Defensively for Oregon State, Smith behind the plate, Guerra at third, Hainline at short, Trotsky back at second in place of Bazana, and Craig at first base holding on Pierce. We'll set the outfield after this pitch. Leif Palmer set, right-handed freshman deals, and that's a fastball, maybe a little inside, one ball and no strikes. Pretty good looking pitch. Macias plays left for the Beavers, Reader in center, Turley in right. 
And again, left is the tough sun field as the shadows lengthen and stretch towards that left field corner. The 1-0 poured in there for strike one to J.R. Freethy. A ball and a strike to the Nevada left fielder swinging from the left side, switch hitter. A line of shadow almost perfectly equidistant between the batter's box and the pitcher's mound right now. Home plate is in the shade. Palmer is in the sunlight. Strike two to J.R. Freethy on the inside half of the knees, one and two. I wonder if you'll see Freethy change his approach a little. He's such a great oppo. He, he really wears out that left field gap, but I wonder if with the wind he's, you know, maybe thinking about the pull side a little more. We'll see. It's hard to just change your approach completely, but it's got to get in your head a little bit when you see that flag. One and two. Breaking ball, humpback liner drops in. Base hit, Pierce flying around second, going to third. So Freedy, just a little golf shot into right center. And the second hit of the frame, Pierce goes all the way to third. Tying run at third base, potential go ahead run at first. Runners at the corners, one out for Taylor Holder, the Corvallis native who had a home run last night. Holder with nine home runs to lead Nevada. Batting 347 on the year with Pierce at third and Freedy at first. one nothing Oregon State. Bottom of the first inning. Palmer set. Checks the runner at first and deals. And Holder skies that wide of the right field line. Turley gives chase. And that's out of play. Strike one. Nothing and one to Taylor Holder. Runner reaching third. We'll let you know Leif Palmer in two and two-thirds innings of action this year has not issued a wild pitch. Palmer, 6'6", 207-pound right-hander, fastball inside, one ball and one strike, wearing 33, which is a fine number for a pitcher. Not bad. Good pitching surname, too, Palmer. That'll work. Yeah. Especially in the... Uh, the orange and orange, black, yeah. right? Yep, yep. One and one. The pitch, swing and a miss by Holder, one and two. We're talking about Jim Palmer. I got your reference. I, just, I wouldn't have known Jim Palmer's number, I'm being honest. I got it. Ooh. He, orange, Palmer, you know. I, is he 33? I, I don't think know. he is. I, no, just, I was just saying Palmer plus the oh, I orange. See. I was like, wow, that's a deep pull. I don't know, know if Palmer's I have Jim jersey. Palmer's yeah, number. I, I, mean, don't, he's, I don't have it. He played before both of us. I guess his career ended when we were alive, but... Here's the one, two. That's up high. Two balls and two strikes. I was proud of you. Uh, you might still be. <laughs> 22, not 33. Okay. No, your number was 33 here. That's why I said it was a good pitching number. Full circle. Yeah. I think it was. Palmer wore 22. Two and two on the pitch. Fly ball, center field, moving back reader. He's at the base of the wall and he watches it go. Holder's done it again. That's a three run home run for Taylor Holder and Nevada. Bolts in front, three to one in the first. What a great swing. Just a great piece of hitting going right back up the middle. Dead center. Got it up in the jet stream. I didn't think that was going off the bat. but I thought it was a sack fly off It the just bat. got up, and you and you watch the center fielder reader just kind of drift back and drift back, and he got to the wall, and you're like, that ball is going to go. And now you look at the flag, and the flag is now blowing straight out to dead center field. So he's seen, I mean, he does it. he's done that. When it's not windy, we're not saying that was wind aided, but Wilson drives this to the right center field gap, and that one's gone. <laughs> Nolan Wilson solo home run on the heels of Holder's three run blast, and Nevada four and Oregon State one. We talked about the answers yesterday. Uh, Nevada kept answering everything, almost everything that Oregon State threw at them. They came back and. Right off the bat, you go one under and run. We're back at it again. Oh, you kind of hang your head a little bit, but not the pack offense. They came out and said, you know what? How about these? Palmer surrendering home runs two and three of his season in back-to-back -back fashion. Four runs, four hits, one error for Nevada. One run, one hit, no errors for Oregon State. Here's Jackson Waller with the bases empty. Still only one out in the home first. 
first pitch up and in one ball and no strikes. So the Wolfpack bats making some noise. After the Beavers played it an unearned run in the top of the first. The 1 0. Swing and a miss. 1 and 1 to Jackson Waller. This is the 26th old time meeting between these clubs. 1 1. Bounding ball foul. Third base side. 1 and 2 to Waller. The Beavers, after last night's 12 5 victory, have now scored 10 or more runs in eight of the 25 all time matchups against Nevada. One and two, here it is. Cold strike three, fastball on the outside. Waller's down looking. First strikeout for Palmer. Two outs and Justin Nicole bats. Good fastball right on the outside. Now a call. Justin's at 287, four home runs, 18 runs batted in, and he's playing with a heavy heart tonight. Zach, he, uh, he lost his grandfather. First pitch. Fouled away, strike one, nothing and one. Sounds like Justin will be away from the team this weekend to be with his family. And okay, he's very close to his grandfather. Certainly understandable. Yep. Pitch to a call, popped up foul over the screen, nothing in two to Justin. Out of Frederick, Maryland, transfer from Pitt. Oh and two, the pitch. Outside and low, one ball and two strikes to Justin, the seventh Wolfpack hitter here in the bottom of the first. It's four to one, Nevada. One two pitch. Line left center field falling fast and that's down. That's a hit for a call. It's cut off by Macias. A call with a two out single. Fifth hit for Nevada. Runner at first, two outs, and the eight hitter Josh Katakutan coming up. Just to close the thought about the Beavers and the Pack and the all-time series, it is now 19 to six in favor of Oregon State, including 11 and three for the Beavers in Reno. Katakutan swings and fouls that one away off to the left. Nothing and one to Josh, who is five of 18 on the year. No home runs, no runs batted in. Five hits and four runs to show for it for Nevada in their first trip to the plate in game two. Leo one outside of the fastball, one and one. It's nice to see the program's kind of established a little bit of a rivalry over the years. It's, it's hard to, there's only so many teams kind of in a vicinity where you can travel to fairly easily on a midweek that are non-conference. So you see a lot of similar pro, you see the pack play teams like Pacific and Sac State, you know, St. Mary's. One, one pitch, sliced foul down the left field line out of play, one and two. Yeah, but it's really cool when you get somebody the caliber yeah, of the Beavers. Yeah, it's outstanding. I mean, yeah. I think, you know, you've seen the pack play Stanford over the years quite a few, you know, obviously closer the geography, the more sure. often you are. But Oregon State, you're, you're expanding the reach a little bit. You're playing a top tier program, a national championship caliber program. And, and to see the programs kind of continue that. Outside two and two to Josh Katakutan, left hand swinging center fielder. I think that's it's great. It's great for both programs. Two balls, two strikes. A call at first, two outs. It's four to one Nevada in the bottom of the first. You see Reeder shading his eyes in center field, swing and a miss. Katakutan strikes out, the side is retired, but Nevada down one nothing, going to the bottom of the first, scores four runs on five hits. They strand one runner, two home runs, Holder and Wilson go back to back. And we go to the second, it's four to one Nevada over Oregon State. This is Wolfpack Baseball from Learfield. Hey Wolfpack fans. We've been in the biggest little city since its very beginning. We brought clean water to our city's first buildings and homes, when that wasn't easy to do. As our city has grown, we've grown with it. Since 1893, 
we've been trusted to do the right things the right way. Whether it's delivering innovative ideas for the buildings shaping our future, or making sure your leaky faucet leaks no more. That's the Savage Way, and it has been for over 130 years. Car wreck, check. Motorcycle wreck, check. Truck wreck, check. Bicycle wreck, check. UFO wreck, what? In a wreck, you need a check. Call Lerner and Road today. Lerner and Road can get you more. Call 644-4444. Is your house catching a cold? It could be furnace problems. Schedule a tune-up today. Call Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air for all your home heating needs. With over 20 years of being locally owned, Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air is your go-to for home heating because we treat our customers like family. Nevada, top of the second inning. Oregon State brings up six, seven, and eight. Reeder, Tolt, and Trotsky against Nico Wagner. With seven Northern Nevada locations, Heritage Bank is our locally managed community bank. Heritage, where it's not how big your bank is, it's how big you are with your bank. Zach Bash and John Ramey with you. Happy to have you with us on the varsitynetwork.com, the Varsity Network app on the audio side, Nevada Sportsnet, and the Mountain West Network on the television side. A pleasant Wednesday night. Just got a little more pleasant for the home team's faithful. As Nevada gave up an unearned run to Oregon State in the top of the first, but the pack bashing their way to a four spot in the bottom half of inning number one. And now Wagner works with a three-run cushion, missing inside to Reeder. One ball and no strikes to Cannon Reeder. Right-hand swinging center fielder, hitting 312 for the Beavers. No home runs and 11 runs batted in. The pitch. Just low, 2 and 0. Zach, I always point out when the pitcher's in the sunlight and the hitter's in the shade and the ball transitions from the glare to the shade. Did you feel like that was a distinct advantage when you pitched? I don't know. I mean, I think every ballpark's different with the with the hitter's background. I mean, there's a lot of variables there. 2-0 pitch rides inside 3-0, but if you're watching, I mean, you can very see, clearly see the ball is, you know, brightly illuminated and then... Yeah. It goes into the shade. You've got to kind of reacquire it. You do, but I also think... As the hitter. 3-0 pitch is a strike under the letters. Ah, hitters love making excuses, John. <laughs> you know, hitters, it's always something. It's, it's always That's something a, with hitters. It's hard. Oh, the batter's eye isn't painted the right shade of green. The Three shadows. One pitch swung on this screen, too. It's always something with those hitters. Yeah? It's always something. You're like Edwards talking about defensive line. Yeah, it's, I mean. That's great. It's it's a nice sunny day out there. Hit the ball. Okay. 3-2 pitch. Cold strike three, and Reeder knew it. So Wagner strikes out Reeder looking. That's the first strikeout for Nico. One out, base is empty, top of the second. Easton Tolt makes his first appearance at the plate in this two-game midweek series. Four to one, Nevada. Tolt, left-handed swinging, designated hitter. Nine for 25 on the year with a home run and three runs batted in. Open stance, very deep in the left-hand batter's box. First pitch from Nico. Down and in. Fastball 1 and 0. I think the batter's eye thing has a little bit of credence. There's a beautiful, big, tall, wide, green batter's sure, eye here. Not, sure. a, not a problem. The batter's eye, of course, the, the background that the hitter's looking at in the center field fence. It's a fly ball to shallow right. Waller jogs in. Harada goes out. It is Waller holding it in for out number two and shallow right. So Tolt is gone. And now Trotsky bats for the Beavers with the bases empty here in the second. Four to one, Nevada. There are horror stories about, I mean, all different ballparks. There, there are standards for ballparks, but especially in college and maybe the lower minor leagues, it's a little hard to, you know, expect every ballpark to comply with those exactly. Um, so I do think there are some exceptions to the hitters always complaining. Fastball for a strike, nothing in one to Trotsky, who gets the start. He came on for Bazana after Travis was hit by a pitch in the third inning last night. Bazana is okay, the MRI was negative. Reached for and grounded to shortstop, charging his ball. He fires, close play, but he got him. Nico Wagner with a shutdown, one, two, three second after being staked to a four to one lead. No runs, no hits. 
And nobody left. Bottom of the second coming up. The Wolfpack four, the Beavers one. It's Nevada baseball from Learfield. Premium checking from America. At the Joint Chiropractic, we believe that everyone should have access to high quality, affordable chiropractic care. You are never too young or too old to start taking care of your body. Walk-ins are welcome at any of our five Northern Nevada locations for just $29, seven days a week. Plus, as a monthly member, you can get treatment at any of our 900 nationwide locations. Stop living with pain. Try the Joint Chiropractic today and give your body the relief it needs. Hey, Pack fans, Renown Health is hiring people like you. There are clinical, non-clinical, and entry-level roles. Training and advancement opportunities. And terrific benefits and compensation. So, make your move. Apply today at renown.org slash careers. Second, Nevada brings up Hirata Pearson Ball, 9-1-2 and two, against Leif Palmer, who surrendered four runs on five hits in the first inning, and instead of change for the Beavers, it is no longer Palmer. Palmer lasts one inning, and now it's Ian Lawson, senior right-hander from Hillsboro, Oregon, taking over. So Ian Lawson. Ian Lawson. Palmer goes one inning. And he gives up four runs on five hits. He strikes out two, he doesn't walk a man. And now Lawson, he's 2-0 and on the year with an 8-0-0 ERA. Appearance number six, he has one start under his belt. Lawson has thrown nine innings so far. He's allowed eight earned runs on 13 hits, six strikeouts, eight walks. Opposing hitters at 361 collectively against Ian Lawson, a 6'7", 246-pound senior right-hander from Hillsboro, Oregon. So a 6'6 right-hander gives way to a 6'7 right-hander. It's a large man out there. Beavers are physical. It's a big roster. We were commenting on that yesterday. Yeah, they just look they just look imposing out there. Not, yeah. not intimidating per se. I don't think baseball is that kind of sport where you're you got a shack in the post or something. Right. It's like that's pretty intimidating. But you look out there, you're like, oh, that's a ball club. They look like a ball club. Here's Hirata. Mason's 0 for 8 on the year. This is his first start. Sophomore out of Hilo, Hawaii. And we'd be remiss if we did not right now remark on the first pitch bounded to third nice backhand pick by guerra throw to first got him good stretch by craig one out base is empty four to one nevada jesse pierce in the top of the order for the pack zach we'd be remiss if we did not talk about what it looks like out there it looks like a baseball game home whites road grays as god intended you even wore a crisp white shirt today, I just to. So I tone I, set. You manifested the. I appreciate you think it's crisp. Pack wearing. I've given our viewers and listeners a picture. Thank you. Because I know there's no camera in the booth. That's good. So they think it's crisp. Thank you. It's crisp on the radio. There's a strike on the outside of Pierce. <laughs> it's crisp. They can see it a little bit on the TV broadcast. Yeah. It looks crisp from 600 feet away where that camera is. All 1 1 to Pierce, who singled and scored as part of Nevada's four run first. Four runs, five hits, and an error for the pack. One run, one hit, no errors for the Beavers. And strike two to Jesse Pierce. Well, Beavers' grays look really good with black numerals trimmed in orange. And then. Orange numerals on the chest, black socks, black caps. Fastball high, one and zero. Oh. Excuse me, one and two. Nevada with uh, like a vintage white, a cream, and uh, navy blue Nevada script across the chest. Navy blue numerals on the back. Navy blue caps and socks. That ball is pulled foul, bounding wide a third. One and two. It remains to Jesse Pierce. These home whites are of the new, the new 2024 uniform package that we talked about. A 
a few different broadcasts before. They got they have the blue on blue. They got the blue on white. So they, they have two different home whites. This is the little bit off white, and then they have the traditional pinstripe white. One two breaking ball grounded to shortstop. A line grabs and fires, and Pierce is out number two in the home second. I suspect that Oregon State was probably planning on a bullpen day. I, I don't, obviously, he did give up four in the first, but I'm guessing. He'd only throw two innings. You didn't yeah, expect I'm, him to go all that long. My anyway. thought is that on a weekday, you know, heading into conference, they probably had a plan. I mean, would Mitch have liked him to have maybe two or three innings probably, but I, I don't think he was slated to go more than two or three. First pitch to Michael Ball is high and away. One ball and no strikes. Michael's 0 for 1. He bats with two outs of the bases empty. Bottom of the second, 4 to 1 Nevada. Ball popped out to first base in the first. A 1 0. Strike on the outside. 1 and 1. Wind still blowing out to right. Unorthodox here at Piccoli. The 1 1. Rides in high with a fastball, two balls and one strike. We should get a meteorologist on, on the show one of these days. Absolutely. Do a half inning or maybe a couple innings on weather and wind patterns in the Truckee Meadows. Off the fist in the air, foul and out of play. It really does affect the, it affects the game. Oh, big time. So I think, I think it'd be kind of fun to, have a guest analyst on. It's a great idea. But there's a local weather person who would, I think, get a kick out of that. Amongst our television partners, certainly. Two and two to ball with two outs. He swings and misses, chasing, and the side is retired. So Ian Lawson with a one, two, three second in his first inning of work for the Beavers. No runs, no hits, nobody left. To the third we go. Nevada four, Oregon State one. Wolfpack baseball from Learfield. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are gonna function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the good feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Hip, knee, or back pain? See if arch supports can help you at the Good Feet Store. Thousand ATMs that won't charge you a fee with One Nevada. Watch high school baseball on Champion Chevrolet's High School Grand Slam, presented by America First Credit Union. Tune in Saturday, April 20th at 5 on Nevada Sportsnet. NSN, your home for Wolfpack Athletics. State comes to bat in the visitors' third. Nine, one, and two for the Beavers. Smith, Macias, and Turley. Nico Wagner works with a four to one lead. The Wolfpack got four in the bottom of the first after Oregon State got one in the top half of the first. Four runs, five hits, and one error for Nevada. One run, one hit, no errors for Oregon State. America First is proud to back the pack, proud to be Nevada's premier credit union. Join the home team today at your neighborhood branch or AmericaFirst.com. Tanner Smith, nine hitter, the catcher. Right hand swinging junior for the Beavers at 239. Three home runs, 14 runs batted in, takes inside from Nico Wagner. One ball and no strikes. Wagner gave up an unearned run in the first and set the Beavers down in order in the second. The 1 0. Fastball up and in, 2 0. Beavers took game one, 12 5 last night. Nevada trying to split with the number five team in the nation, first place team of the Pac 12. 2-0 pitch, strike on the outside to Tanner Smith, 2-1. Home plate umpire Ken Diber has been consistent giving that outside strike to right-hand hitters. That one's a little low, three balls and one strike. What a thrill for Nico to 
I mean, when you when you come to college, you're you know you're playing the conference game. You know, it's oh, I'm in college. This is great. You're just playing in your hometown hometown school against the top five team in the country, getting the start. That misses ball four. Lead off walk to Smith to begin the Beavers third. Yeah, as a true freshman, I mean that that's a big time that's a big time outing. You know, I mean, he's he's sure he has family here, and and I mean, and we're talking with Jake pregame about being a true freshman, especially in the kind of this post-COVID area yeah, where you have grown men, 22, 23, 24 year olds playing out there, and, and you're a you're a youngster, you know, as a as a true freshman, getting a start against the number five team in the nation for your your hometown school. It's pretty exciting. Smith at first after the leadoff walk here's Dallas Macias. He's 0 for one. He pops this one up foul, and that is out of play. Straight back. Strike one, nothing, and one. Macias grounded out to second base to begin the ball game. Dallas coming in with a 12-game hit streak, hitting 309 at the start of play today. Four runs, five hits, one error for the pack. One run, one hit, no errors for the Beavers. Smith at first, the catcher, with a catcher-like lead. There's a ground ball towards shortstop. It's gloved by ball. He shovels to Hirata back to first double play. Macias hits into that 6-4-3 double play, and Zach Mason Hirata's skill set includes a fine pivot at second base. Jake McKinley talks a lot about that, and I think we saw some of that efficiency here. Yeah, it's a beautiful turn. I mean, it starts with the glove flip from Ball. I mean, Ball, who's been playing a lot of second lately, he gets shifted over to short. All of a sudden, he's going big league glove flip to Hirata, and then Hirata with a real smooth turn, so that was a big league double play by the pack. Leadoff walk is erased. Here's Churley with two outs, and the base is empty. Four to one Nevada in the third. Lights are on, but not taking effect. Just yet, swing and a miss. Nothing in one to Gavin Turley. We still have a lot of blue sky now. The clouds have kind of gone away or moved towards the horizon. Beautiful blue skies overhead. It's about as good as it gets right now. It is nice. The you know, one is up and in. One and one to Turley, who reached on an error in the first and scored the lone Oregon State run. Yeah, we had 70 degrees at first pitch last night, 67 at first pitch tonight. Not, not a bitter breeze, just a pleasant breeze. Spring has sprung here in the Truckee Meadows. 1-1 one, one pitch. Late on that was Turley. Swing and a miss, 1-2. and two. Certainly a pleasant breeze for Holder and Wilson. I don't know if it was so so pleasant for Leif Palmer, but it is pleasant if you're enjoying the ballgame, sipping on a cold beverage, eating a hot dog. 1-2. Off the fists in the air, foul. Out of play off to the right. It remains 1-2 and two to Gavin Turley from Chandler, Arizona. He's a sophomore. The smell of popcorn in the air at Piccoli tonight. Yep. I'm more of a peanuts guy at a ball game, but popcorn will allow it. Has a better aroma, that's for sure. It does. Very evocative. One two pitch, fouled away off to the right again. So Wagner's going right at Turley here. That's an impressive start. Like we said, it's early still, but Nico Wagner is a true freshman against the big time offense is certainly not showing any sort of fear or intimidation. Turley's the top RBI guy with 47, has 11 home runs for the Beavers. One two. Yanked foul wide a third. Turley's battling him here. I think Oregon State isn't, they have a few maybe backups in there, but most of their regulars are in the lineup. They're certainly the top five or six guys in the lineup. They've got a couple guys who are, you know, maybe getting a, some extra bats before a conference weekend, the same as the pack is doing. Travis Bazana being the one biggest person sitting as that pitch is outside and goes to the backstop. Two and two to Turley. Yeah, Macias, Turley, Guerra, Hainline, Craig. I mean, they were all in there last night. Petrosky, sleeper. Two and two. In the dirt, blowing away three balls and two strikes. Trotsky yesterday ended up one for two with a run scored, drawing a walk, but also made two really good defensive plays. He was all over the field. Yeah, it seemed like the ball was at him all day long, you know? 3-2 pitch. That's hit the other way for a base hit. Turley muscles it out to right center field. Pretty good at bat for Gavin. 
Two out single, runner at first for the Beavers. Mason Guerra comes up. Four runs, five hits for Nevada. One run, two hits now for Oregon State. Guerra's 0 for 1. He popped out to first base in the first. Wagner with the, for our radio listeners at least, Wagner for audio only listeners I should say. Kind of a three-quarter delivery as well. We talked a lot about arm slots the last few days, and he's a, he's a lower arm slot guy as well. Foul back. First pitch. Fastball nothing in one. Yeah, three-quarters. I think that's a pretty true three-quarter. Yeah. I'd say it's, a, it's certainly not a nowhere near sidearm, but he's it's a lower arm slot for a starting pitcher, I would say. The runner goes. The 0-1 pitch is low and away and gets through Wilson and Turley swipes second base without a throw as that one goes to the backstop. Stolen base for Turley is his third in four tries this year. A lot of young pitchers, they, they developers or, or coaches tend to use the, the phrase uh, a repeatable delivery, John, uh -huh. which is basically saying 1-1 one, one pitch is hit to left field. Freethe towards the corner in front of the track has room and holds it in. Guerra gave it a ride, but Piccoli holds it. Turley is stranded at second base. No runs, one hit, and one man left. Bottom of the third coming up. Nevada 4, Oregon State 1. This is Wolfpack. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. Dear Nowhere, it was quite a journey to get to you. Jostling through ruts, winding through pines, and crawling up a mountain. But guess what? I'd do it all over again. Keep it wild. Forerunner. Get 4.99% APR for up to 60 months on Forerunner. Or lease Forerunner for 409 per month. Toyota. Let's go places. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. remains in the game for Oregon State. He took over in the second after Palmer went one inning and surrendered all four Nevada runs. Free the holder and Wilson, three, four, and five for Nevada in the home third. It's four to one pack leading Oregon State. Nevada women's basketball hosting their third annual golf outing fundraiser presented by Greater Nevada Credit Union coming up on June 23rd at Red Hawk Golf Club. For more information, contact Shea Mead. Shea Mead at UNR dot edu shea s-h-e-a mead m-e-a-d at unr dot edu strike one to jr free the use one for one lawson doesn't use a wind up jr hits that to the right side backing up trotsky on the grass flips to first in time Pretty adroit play there on a hard hit ball. Freedy is out number one in the home third. Here's Taylor Holder who hit a three run home run to give Nevada the lead in the first inning. That's his second home run in as many days against his hometown team. He's from Corvallis. We said it yesterday. He absolutely had this one circled. Yep. And he has showed up. First pitch, up and in. One ball and no strikes. We were talking in the last half inning, Zach Bash, about repeatable mechanics for pitchers and why that's important. Yeah, I think young pitchers especially, and Wagner has a little bit of an unorthodox mechanics. 1-0 pitch is high, 2-0 as Lawson falls behind Holder. And I think kind of back in the day, or you know, it used to be you have to pitch a certain way and your legs got to be here and this and that. And I think people have gotten away from that. They see there's lots of very successful pitchers that pitch a lot of very different ways. 2-0 pitch, 
Holder takes off speed for his strike, John one But the phrase that gets thrown about is this repeatable delivery, and they're basically saying no, mat basically, no matter how you throw, whether you're throwing sidearm, over the top, three quarter, whether you're flying open, whether you're staying closed, you want to have the same motion every pitch. It's repeatable. 2-1 pitch, waved at and missed. He chased that one. What happens is you, you get in a, a rhythm, and then all of a sudden you're just for argument's sake, your front side is flying up. Your plant foot is landing somewhere else. You, you get off kilter from your kind of base delivery, if you will, and that's what causes wild pitches, you know, losing sight of the strike zone, things like that. 2-2 two -two pitch. He couldn't hold up. Oh, he could hold up on a ball in the dirt. Holder with a big check swing. And it's three and two. Well, that's the same pitch he chased for strike two. Something really falling off the table. That was a good pitch. It's a holder. Holding up that swing. And now it's three and two. Lawson deals. That's a cold strike three. Holder knew it. Second strikeout for Lawson. The right on right changeup, which you're not really accustomed to seeing as a strikeout pitch, but if you're, you're righty on righty and you're thinking slider or you're thinking heater, you know, if something off speed, you're kind of thinking it's going to go down like like the two strike pitch or the first two strike pitch, and then all of a sudden you get that changeup that's just floating in it and it froze. Yeah. yeah. Here's Wilson who had a solo shot after Holder's home run in the first. And strike one, nothing in one. Is that the changeup again right there? I think that was a little slider, a little slider cutter or something okay. like that. A little something with a little wrinkle in it, but. They have the same kind of hump at the end, but one hangs up and one moves. Fastball up high, one and one. Yeah, that, that strikeout pitch to Holder wasn't, I mean, it wasn't nasty, but I think when you're sitting on something and he had just almost got fooled on the slider, when it's not something you're expecting. That's hit high and deep to left by Wilson. Macias at the track reaches up and makes the catch. Wilson almost had his second home run of the night, but instead it's a 1-2-3 third for Lawson and the Beavers. Nevada, no runs, no hits, nobody left. We go to the fourth. Pack four, the Beavers won. It's Nevada baseball from Learfield. We've been in the biggest little city since its very beginning. We brought clean water to our city's first buildings and homes, when that wasn't easy to do. As our city has grown, we've grown with it. Since 1893, we've been trusted to do the right things the right way. Whether it's delivering innovative ideas for the buildings, shaping our future, or making sure your leaky faucet leaks no more. That's the savage way. And it has been for over 130 years. This is a Bradley Drenlin Janae personal injury attorney. He's in his office, right here in Reno. Unlike a lot of Vegas personal injury attorneys who say they have a Reno office, our attorneys actually live here. Nothing against Vegas, but we know Reno and how to win cases here better than any Vegas lawyer ever could. Bradley Drenlin Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. Six for the Beavers. Four runs, five hits, one error for the Wolfpack. Four in the bottom of the first. One run, two hits, no errors for Oregon State. They played it an unearned run in the top half of the first inning. Payne line is one for one. He singled in the first. At Camelot Party Rentals, they make it great so you can celebrate. Best selection of rental equipment for weddings and special events. Camelot Party Rentals, proud sponsor of the Nevada Wolfpack. Nico Wagner deals. And that is in for a strike, nothing in one. The 0 1, low and away, one ball and one strike. Wagner has gone three innings. He's allowed the one unearned run, one strikeout, one walk. He surrendered two hits. Hain line one for one, came in hitting 291. He takes outside, and it's two balls and one strike to Elijah. 
We talk about the wind a lot here because it just it affects the game so much at this really mark. Does. And we've already seen it in three innings of this game. Two deep fly outs to left off the right off right handers bats. Two one pitch swing and a miss on a fastball two and two. And neither one of them have left the yard. And then the two balls to dead center both were gone by 40 feet. So we, we you know I feel like a broken record but it just affects the play at this ballpark so much. 2-2 two, two fastball strike three on the outside corner. Main line down looking. I think where is ball to end third? I mean, that is usually where it carries like yeah. crazy. I mean, Guerra's, I mean, uh, he was 20 feet in front of the track. And then to end the pack after the third, the ball Wilson hit, I thought, was, had a chance to go off the wall, and it, and it barely reached the track. So we talked about it earlier in the game, and, and it's really come to fruition here in the first three innings. Craig takes a fastball in the heart of the zone, nothing in one. Jacob Craig 0 for 1 in this game. Career high six RBIs in Oregon State's 12-5 win last night. The 1 just outside, 1 and 1. So he goes fastball for a strike and then throws that slider just a little bit outside, trying to get Craig to chase him into a pitcher's area. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. He chased it that time. Slider. 1 and 2. Craig hitting 326 at the start of play today. The one two. High and away. Two balls, two strikes. Now that we've cleared the first three frames, we can revisit that stat you mentioned earlier about the Oregon State dominance over the first three innings of games. Yeah, coming into this game, the Beavers an astounding 127 to 40 outscoring their opponents in the first three innings. Breaking ball just outside, three and two. Wilson and Wagner trying to expand the zone, and Wolfpack Faithful, I think, reacting with their hearts more than their eyes there. And it here happens. we are, top four, and the pack has a 4-1 lead, so we're slightly tilting the scales back. Just outside, ball four on a 3-2 slider. So a one-out walk to Craig, and here's Reeder for Oregon State. A very unbeaver-like for them to be behind after three frames. Again, they had outscored their opponents in the first three innings combined this season, 127 to 40. Not today, John. We've got to play nine, though. We've got six more. That's a great point. Nevada learned that it's not a five-inning game last night. Reader struck out looking in the second. Runner at first and one out. And that ball is hit in the air to center. And Katakutan goes back but reaches up and puts it away. Greg goes back to first base. Reader jumping on the first pitch and sending it to straightaway center field. But that's out number two here in the Beavers' fourth. And now Easton Tolt, the left-handed swinging designated hitter. Easton Tolt. Four runs, five hits, one error for Nevada. One run, two hits, no errors for Oregon State. Runner at first, two outs, top of the fourth. Tolt flight out to right field in the second. He's 0 for 1. Wagner comes home. Outside after Tolt flickered a bunt. One ball and no strikes. One and no. The pitch. Outside. Two balls and no strikes to Easton. Nine for 26 on the season. Short lead at first for Craig. The 2-0. Strike on the outside. Two and one. Been impressed with Wilson behind the plate today, too. Hasn't got a ton of innings back there. And, you know, pitcher he's certainly not too familiar with being a true freshman and stepping right in. Already has a home run, almost hit another home run, and he's been really solid behind the dish. The 2 1 inside, hopping out of the way is Tolt. Good backhand by Wilson. Two balls, two strikes. Runner at first and two outs in the fourth. We've already seen Harada make a nice play, who hasn't played a ton this year. We've seen Ball make a nice play at short, who usually plays second. We've seen Nicole make some nice plays at third, who's usually playing short. 3-1 pitches outside, ball four. That's the second walk of the inning. Issued by Nico Wagner and his third of the game. So Craig to second, Tolt to first, and now Jabin Trotsky. Jabin Trotsky. 
with runners at second and first. Trotsky grounded out to shortstop in the second. He's 0 for 1. Tying run at the plate for Oregon State. Two outs in the fourth. 4 to 1 Nevada. First pitch is in for a strike. And Wagner's in front. Nothing in one. The 0 1. Wild. Way wild to the backstop. And Craig and Tolk. Move up. That ball Wilson had no chance on. So very wild pitch moves. Craig to third and Tolt to second. Two men in scoring position. A ball and a strike to Trotsky. Second wild pitch of the game and third of the season for Wagner. The 1-1. One -one. Foul to the screen. One and two. Javin Trotsky. Like that come back with the challenge heater after missing badly with the all one slider and said you want to hit it hit it one and two here it is just outside of the fastball it's a good one two pitch and it's a better one two take two and two Second and third with two outs for the Beavers. The pitch, up high and it's full. Three balls and two strikes. A one out walk and a two out walk and a wild pitch. Craig at third, told at second for Oregon State. Down four to one in the fourth in Nevada. And the three two. Line foul out of play off to the right. Tanner Smith, the nine hitter, the catcher, is on deck. If Drosky can extend the inning for Oregon State. The 3 2 from Nico. Inside, ball four. And Wagner has walked the bases loaded. So the Beavers have the tying runs aboard with two outs in the top of the fourth. And Tanner Smith coming to the plate. He drew a walk in the third. Now adding the catcher, number eight. It's a good test for a young pitcher. You know, the innings starting to get away from him a little bit, but you got two outs. All you got to do is make one pitch, get out of it, get your team back in, no harm. And pitching coach Mark Moriarty, I think, is going to go remind Nico of that right now. I think that's why you, why you get a freshman out there. You got to, you know, it's easy to go out and, you know, mow down hitters during the midweek and get some innings under your belt, move on. But these are really the the innings and the at-bats in your young career that kind of you'll remember not just this year, but you know, yeah, I had bases loaded against the top five team in the country. You got to make a pitch, you know, and it's a good test. And I think no way Jake's taking him out right now. You got to let him work through this and see how it goes. But as, as a freshman, you just got to go. You got to do it. There's no there's no hiding from this. You know, you got you got the bases juiced. You got to lead. Let's get your team back in the dugout. Score some more runs. Four to one Nevada. Two outs. Top of the fourth. Oregon State has Craig at third. Reed at second and Trotsky at first. Wagner has walked the bases loaded and now Tanner Smith at the plate with three home runs on the year. He came in hitting 239. First pitch is a breaking ball low and away to the right hand swinging Beaver catcher. One ball and no strikes. The pitch. Misses. One, make it two balls and no strikes to Tanner Smith. It's also Nico's longest outing of the year. Has not gone more than three innings yet this year, so this will be, he's already at three and two thirds. 2-0 two with the bases low to the pitch. Down low ball three, three balls and no strikes. He has issued back-to-back -back walks, and he has walked three of the last four hitters he's faced. And now it's 3-0 to Smith. Bases full of Beavers. 4-1 to one Nevada, the pitch. Ball four to force in run number two for Oregon State. Craig comes in from third. 
Smith, his second walk drawn on the night, an RBI. And it's Nevada four and Oregon State two. Tolt to third, Trotsky to second, Smith at first, and now Dallas Macias, who's 0 for two, but the top of the order comes around for Oregon State. Macias came in hitting 309 with four home runs and 26 runs batted in. The pitch from Wagner is a strike to Macias, switch hitter swinging from the left side. Nothing in one. Macias grounded out to second base in the first and hit into an, a 6-4-3 double play in the third. The 0-1. Outside. Ball and a strike to Dallas. The 1-1 one -one from Wagner. Hits him. Hits him on the leg, and it forces in another run. Talt comes in, and it's 4-3. to three. So the Purple Heart RBI for Macias. Trotsky to third, Smith to second. Macias at first with a bruise and a run batted in. 4-3. to three. Zach, you mentioned it's Wagner's longest outing of the year. Are we seeing fatigue affect his mechanics? I think so. I mean, I think there's, you know, it's easy for us to sit in the booth and, and speculate, but, you know, I, I think he's, when he lose command a little bit, he, yeah, he just hasn't really thrown this deep in a game yet. First pitch up and in to Turley. 1-0. Turley reached on an error and scored the first Beavers run way back in the first. He also singled in the third and stole a base. He is the top Beaver RBI man with the bases loaded. 4-3 Nevada. Fly ball. Left center field. Katakutan just turns and watches it go. It's a grand slam for Gavin Turley. And the Beavers go back in front. Seven four Oregon State. Yeah, I just kind of didn't have a great feeling about that inning from the jump. You know, easy to second guess, obviously, but I think Nico third time through the order. You know, young kid hasn't gotten this deep yet in his career, and it kind of caught up with him here in the fourth. Guerra is the ninth Beaver to bat in what is now. A six-run fourth. Seven runs, three hits for Oregon State. Four runs, five hits for the Pack. Strike one on the inside to Mason Guerra. Nothing in one. Mason is 0 for 2. They all won. That ball is laced down the left field line, coming over, sliding and not making the catch is Freedy. Going to second is Guerra, the throw, not in time. So a double after the grand slam, and now Hainline bats for the second time. The Beavers have batted around in the fourth. Now batting the shortstop, number three, Elijah Hainline. Hainline struck out looking to begin the fourth inning innocuously enough. Well, Wagner, apparently this is his inning to close. There's a breaking ball foul to the plate, nothing in one. Now Nevada has a conference series at UNLV. This is the second midweek game of the week. So, you know, Jake McKinley wants to keep the top line bullpen arms fresh. But this has gone from four to one to seven to four. It's a check swing for a strike. Nothing in two to Hainline, who's one for two in the game. Yeah, it's a good test. I mean, this is this part of growing, you know, growing pains, like we said. And I think Jake, again, speculating from the booth as we do. 0-2 is hammered to left. That's a hit. Where is around third? He's coming in, going to second base. Is Hainline the head first slide, and he's got an RBI double. So after the grand slam, back to back doubles. Oregon State builds an eight to four lead on the strength of a seven run top of the fourth. Now Jacob Craig 
who walked and scored earlier in this fourth inning. And Jake McKinley is out of the dugout from the Nevada first base side. And that's it for Nico Wagner. Pitching change in the fourth. The Beavers have pounced. It's 8-4 Oregon State. This is Wolfpack Baseball from Learfield. Are you ready to upgrade your home? I've seen it a thousand times. Insurance companies do everything they can to deny a claim. It's frustrating. That's why I made it easy. Text me anytime and get an answer. I'm local and have years of experience getting people like you fast and easy resolutions. The Vegas Golden Knights are making a push for the playoffs. Watch the games as the regular season ends and the postseason begins. Nevada Sportsnet is your home for the Vegas Golden Knights. And you can watch on Channel 21, Cable 7, and now Fubo. Find the game schedule on NevadaSportsNet.com or follow us on social media. NSN, your Northern Nevada home for all things VGK. It's a seven run top of the fourth for Oregon State. And the Beavers have vaulted back in front eight to four at Nevada. And they have chased Nico Wagner. The Wolfpack freshman completes three and two thirds. Right now he's been charged with seven earned runs, eight runs total, two strikeouts and five walks, including four killer walks here in the fourth. Wagner is responsible for Hainline at second base. And now it's Eddie Tierney. Redshirt freshman right-hander from right here in Reno, DeMonte Ranch High School. And Tierney will work with Hainline at second, two outs, and he'll be facing Jacob Craig. Eight runs, five hits, no errors for Oregon State. Seven home here in the fourth, wiping out what had been a four to one Wolfpack lead after one. Nevada, four runs, five hits, and one error. And so now Tierney will try to douse the flames. It is still early, and the wind is blowing out, but the Beaver offense has come to a boil after a fairly quiet first third of this affair. Tierney on the year makes his 10th appearance all in relief. He's 0-1. In nine and two thirds, he's allowed 16 earned runs on 14 hits, 13 strikeouts, seven walks. Opposing batters at 341 against him. He has surrendered one home run. He has also unleashed six wild pitches on the year. So here's Craig, who had the career uh, day with six RBIs yesterday. 0 for 1 with a walk in this game, and the first pitch is low. One ball and no strikes. Tierney's had an interesting year. Those numbers are a little misleading. He's had a few kind of big, big run outings. He had five straight scoreless outings. Now a pickoff as the runner was bluffing between second and third and hung up as Hainline. Hainline staggering, trying to get back to second, finally tagged out. And so the Beavers run out of the inning. And Nevada is gifted a third out on the bases. And that's that. But Oregon State brings home seven in the top of the fourth. We go to the home half of inning number four on this Wednesday night at Piccoli. It's the Beavers eight in the pack four. This is Nevada baseball from Lear. It's Champion Chevrolet's big April award-winning Chevy sale. Yes, folks, Champion has the largest inventory of GM-certified used cars and trucks with award-winning deals. Like a 2019 Toyota Camry, $350 a month. A 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee, $455 a month. A 2019 Cadillac XTS, $470 a month. Or a 2023 Subaru BRZ, $565 a month. Don't miss the big April award-winning Chevy sale. Only at Champion. Auto accident injuries can be debilitating. Pain can cause problems with normal daily activities, recreational activities, and returning to work. Almost 40 years ago, my dad opened Northwest Reno Chiropractic with the goal of getting people quickly out of pain and back to normal daily activities through chiropractic care tailored to the patient's individual needs. No long treatment plans, no unnecessary visit, just getting people feeling better. For appointments, call Northwest Reno Chiropractic at 775-324-3700 or go to northwestrenochiropractic.com. Zach Bass. 
Cash and John Ramey with you. Bottom of the fourth inning. Oregon State eight and Nevada four. A seven-run top half of this fourth inning for the visiting Beavers. And now Ian Lawson works with a four-run cushion. As Wolfpack brings up Waller, a call in Katakutan. Six, seven, and eight here in the home fourth. Whether it's a leaky faucet, a backed-up sink, or a broken garbage disposal, NDI Plumbing will complete the job with experience you can trust. NDI Plumbing, proud partner of the Nevada Wolfpack. Waller struck out looking in the first. He's 0 for 1. So the Beavers got a grand slam from Gavin Turley in the top half of this fourth inning. That was the big blow as part of the seven-run frame. First pitch up and in, one ball and no strikes. That means Oregon State has now hit at least one home run in 18 consecutive games. And they have 70 on the year, which is second all-time in Oregon State baseball history. Pitch is low and away. Two balls and no strikes to Jackson Waller. And that was not cheap. No. That was... Katakutan gave it a cursory glance. That was... He did not pursue it much. I might call that a courtesy glance. Yeah. 2-0 <laughs> off-speed strike at the letters. 2-1 to Waller. That ball was tattooed. Yeah, the wind is blowing out. It didn't matter. It helped. <laughs> sure, it but it didn't it, matter. It pushed it a little further on its journey. Yeah. The 2-1 pitch. Waved at and missed. 2-2. Two and two. I mean, he almost hit that one to Virginia City. It was... It, it, I wouldn't even worry about the windshield's getting damaged tonight because I think that cleared a few rows of cars <laughs> while it's touched. Two and two to Waller leading off the bottom of the fourth, and that's a fly ball to left. Macias at the track puts it away, maybe in front of the track. So it's so interesting. We talk about the wind a lot. You know, it's usually left field is the go field. Anything in the air to left, it's probably going to go. Not tonight. Uh, it's, it's wild. And, and really all three of those home runs, all three home runs we've seen tonight, two by Nevada, one by Oregon State, have all been to dead center or some variation of dead center. Yeah. And all three were very well struck. But it, it is interesting to just see how the ball kind of finds the wind here at Piccoli and, and tends to... Ball one to Justin Nicole. It just it tends to find the wind. It's it's interesting. It's just a it's a quirk here at the ballpark where you see I mean neither of those three were were cheap by any means, but 1-0 pitch is in the air, right center. Turley and Reed are going back. That ball's carrying and reaching up and making the catch is Reeder. Wow. Reeder pursued that way into right center. Right against the Wolf Pack. That's a great catch. I mean, you saw Reeder off the bat start drifting like he almost thought he might have to come in on that. That ball, that ball was not hit. Pretty that hard. ball carried <laughs> thanks to the win. And, and you see it. I mean, he, you know, he knows where he's playing, but he's only played one game here. I mean, he certainly, you know, they have scouting reports on the on the facility and the weather. And, Katakutan, first pitch swinging, dribbler back to the mound. Lawson underhands to first. It's a 1-2-3 fourth for Lawson. A shutdown inning after the Beavers played seven in the top half. Katakutan is out. Nevada, no runs, no hits, nobody left. So the fifth we go on this Wednesday night. Beavers eight, Wolfpack four. Nevada baseball from Learfield. Hey, Wolfpack fan. Dear unbreakable spirit, when the terrain is gnarly, you steady us. When obstacles are ahead, you lift us. When the turf is hostile, you inspire us. Own a legend, Toyota Trucks. Get 1.99% APR financing for up to 48 months on a new Tundra, or get 4.99% APR financing for up to 60 months on 4Runner. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. In Northern Nevada, there's emergency care, then there's renowned ER where every patient is seen by a board-certified emergency care physician and you have critical access to the area's largest health network with more specialists, treatments, and services, including Northern Nevada's only Level 2 Trauma Center and Pediatric Trauma Center. For more complete care when it's needed most, trust your emergency care to Renown ER in three convenient locations.
technology update. So we go to the fifth. It's 8-4 Oregon State. We've got geese. Zach Bash, you were on the geese watch before I was. Geese in right field. They've been chased off. Well, as a former reliever, you know, we, we take care of our own. We had Goose Gossage, of course. Big, uh, of course. Big, big part of baseball history. Yes. Came Hall to of Famer, yeah. Yep. So we had, we had a couple of, those are pretty big geese out there in deep right center. They were. One of the pack relievers must have been a bullpen guy. No, I think it might have been. Uh, he was wearing a sweater. Couldn't see his number. But. I think it might have been Andrew uh, Shaps. Uh, oh, well, he. Yeah. He was out there chasing that goose around. Oh, in between inning entertainment. Can't beat it. Jacob Craig was at the plate when Hainline was hung out to drive between second and third to end the fourth and strike one to Jacob Craig from Eddie Tierney. Craig walked and scored in the fourth. Pitch to the plate as a strike on the outside. And it's 0-2 to the Beavers' first baseman. Craig, Reeder, and Tault, 5, 6, and 7 here in the visitors' fifth for Oregon State. Comes the 0-2. Foul the way off to the right. 0-2. That looked like the Frisbee slider. That was a nice little Frisbee. Uh, we talked to Coach McKinley about it pregame. Tends to, again, the, the theme of the arm slots. Tierney throws a little lower than three. He's, he's almost a true side armor, I would say. Below, low three quarters. Yes. Swing and a miss on a fastball, 0-2. Craig strikes out. It's coming from about 9.30. Sure. Reader bats the bases empty in the fifth, 8 4 Oregon State. Now batting the center. So that. Number 23, Cannon. I may sound obsessed with it, but the Frisbee slider, just the boomerang action, the ball almost seems to like stop when it gets to the plate and move, uh, you know, at a 90 degree angle. That's bunted in the air. Tough chance. Wilson makes the play in foul ground. Reader pops out foul to the catcher on a bunt attempt. Two outs, and here's Tull. Yeah, it's a, it's really from that slot. That's when your hand is a little hard to verbalize, but I'll do my best. When your hand kind of, your fingers are kind of on the outside of the ball, and you get more like a side spin than a top spin. Got you it. think even like the best slider that's moving down, you're, you're coming above the ball with your hand. First pitch to Tull. It's a strike, nothing in one to the left hand swinging DH for the Beavers. And your fingers are still on the slider, kind of on the side of the ball, but your the the downward motion of your arm is kind of causing that ball to go down, whereas the, the side armor. The 0-1, that's in the air to left. Freethe and Katakutan converging. It is Freethe running it down in left center field. And the side is retired. So Tierney has a 1-2-3 top of the fifth. Halfway through this one, Oregon State 8 and Nevada 4. It's Wolfpack Baseball from Learfield. This is the first new ad Bradley Drenlin Janae has made in about two years. Instead of filming new ads, we've been doing what we do best, representing our clients after a life-changing accident or injury. And they need us working on their cases, not new commercials. So that's what we decided to film. Your work is more important than this. Bradley Drendel and Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. It's Champion Chevrolet's big April award-winning Chevy sale. Yes, folks, Chevrolet has the most award-winning Chevys ever. And Champion has them all on sale now. Rates as low as 1.9% for 36 months and no payments for 90 days. Check out these award-winning deals. A 2024 Chevy Trailblazer LS, $293 a month. A 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 Crew Cab 4x4 truck, 48888 And the 2024 Chevy Blazer EV RS all-wheel drives are arriving daily. Only at Champion. Seven run fourth inning from Oregon State is the big story of the game. It's eight to four Beavers with Nevada coming to bat at the bottom of the fifth inning. Harada Pearson ball, nine one and two. Ian Lawson remains on the mound. He took over in the second. He is not allowed a run nor a hit in his three innings of relief thus far. Leading off, 
In fact, he has retired nine in a row. And now Mason Hirata, who was the first man that Lawson faced and retired, sees him for the second time. Eight runs, five hits, and no errors for Oregon State. Four runs, five hits, one error for Nevada. Righty on righty, and the first pitch to Hirata. It's a strike on the outside half, nothing in one. Lights starting to take effect, but still daylight in the sky. Nail one. Outside, one ball and one strike to Mason Hirata. Your shadows are gone, John, so what are the hitters going to complain about now? I mean, we've got some, the, That's aggressive. The, the, the That's great. That is great. <laughs> the sun's behind the yeah. mountains. I mean, we got a cloud up there. That's kind of white, right? The ball's yeah. white. The clouds are white. <laughs> Fly ball foul out of play up to the right. One ball and two strikes. Let's find something. Oh, that's funny. Twelve runs in four and a half innings. We got hitters complaining about shadows. One and two to Hirata. Nobody's complaining. No, I just I was speculating it could be challenging. Oh, that's funny. It's like uh, my broadcast partner for football, Mike Edwards, Hall of Famer here at Nevada, played on the offensive line. One two pitch swung on and missed, and down goes Hirata. One out in the Nevada fifth. Jesse Pierce, top of the order for the pack. It's like you talking about hitters is like listening to Edwards talk about defensive linemen. Just disdain. Just pure disdain. <laughs> no, hitters are great when they're making plays behind me on defense. Yeah. I always respect my catcher when he's catching. Sure. Some great catchers over the years in Nevada. Here's Pierce, one for two. Foul ball to the third base dugout. Strike one, nothing in one. Speaking of Nevada Hall of Famers, I believe Brett Hayes is in the Nevada Hall of Fame. Was a great catcher here in Nevada. Played in the big leagues for a while and won a World Series ring last year as the bullpen coach of the Texas Rangers. Did he now? He sure did. The 0 one that Bounces through Smith. Ball in the dirt to Jesse Pierce. One ball and one strike to the pack. First baseman. One out, base is empty. Bottom of the fifth, eight to four, Oregon State. Brett Hayes was actually, if memory serves, recruited to play here. Fastball, high two and one. As a center fielder. And he went to Notre Dame High School down in the uh, SoCal, I believe it's in the Valley. Somewhere. Notre Dame Sherman Oaks. Sure. Come on. Um, and then something happened. Two one pitch. In the air to right. Let's see if this goes. Turley backs up. Turley's got room. The wind's pushing it, but Turley calls it in. Two outs. I think Chris Jimenez, who also had a solid big league career. A lengthy big league career. Uh, I believe he had some shoulder issues because he was supposed to catch. I think Jimenez was a sophomore or junior maybe that year. And then the center fielder came from Notre Dame. It was a big-time recruit. Notre Dame High School, big-time program down there. Oh, yeah. Um, Here's and, Michael Ball, sorry, Zach. And something happened. I think it was one of those, like, oh, you caught in high school, right? Like, you want to try it out? First pitch swinging, and Michael Ball sends it to center field. On one bounce, a base hit. Ball swinging early in the count. Saw that breaking ball up. Now batting. Two out base runner for the Wolfpack. It's the first base runner that Lawson's allowed. And now Freethe with a runner at first and two outs here on the last of the fifth. It's 8 4 Oregon State. I, that's my memory of it. It's 20 years ago, maybe mistaken, but but I know he was a he was a big time outfielder. You know, he ran well, super athletic, and, and I think it helped him behind the plate, too. He was a very athletic catcher. First pitch is up high. One ball and no strikes to JR. He wasn't that big of a dude either. You think of catchers big, bulky, and slow, and kind of, he was not that. He stole bags and ran around super, very strong defensive catcher and, and could swing it as well. The 1 0. Freedy takes down and in. Two balls and no strikes. Freedy's one for two, singled and scored to the first. They let Jimenez in the Hall of Fame yet or no? I feel like he, he could be a candidate for the Nevada Hall of Fame. Also, a local, well, he's not from here, but he's lived here since college. Still makes his home in the Truckee Meadows. 2 0. The pitch. High and away. Three balls and no strikes to J.R. Freely. He's joined the likes of John Ramey and others uh, in the broadcasting world. He does some pre and post for the Cleveland Guardians these days. I mean, that he's in the bigs. Well, he's got the headset, he's got a microphone. 
3-0 pitch. It's low ball four, so after balls, two out single. Freedy draws a two-out walk. Ball to second, free to first. Here's Taylor Holder with two on and two out for the pack in the bottom of the fifth. It's eight to four, Oregon State. We love Jim and us. Friend of the program. Friend of the program. Certainly a friend of Nevada Sports Net. Yeah, he's done Nevada games here. Oh, yeah. He's sat in your chair. I'm sitting in his chair. Let's be, let's be real. <laughs> Did you play with Jim Nessie a little after you? No, I played with him. Did you know he would be a big leaguer when you pitched him? He could swing it. He could swing. He didn't catch a whole lot. Like I said, he had some, that's right. had some arm yeah, injuries. That's right. uh, but he could swing it. I mean, oh, yeah, he was a big-time player. The pride of Gilroy, California. First pitch to Holder, low and away, one ball and no strikes. Holder had a three-run home run in the first. He's had two home runs in this midweek two-game series. Ball at second and Freedy at first, two outs. Beavers 8, Nevada 4, last of the 5th. Lawson's 1-0. Breaking ball foul to the third base dugout. One ball and one strike. Can I do a little hitting breakdown there? Sure. Is Holder really looking breaking ball and that's his pass at 1-0? And I'm not trying to criticize. I understand it. No. My bullets, but, you know, until it's two strikes, you're probably thinking of one pitch, one area, right? I mean, he's locked in. I, I trust <laughs> I one trust his eyes. Right. Okay. He's got two bombs in two days. He's yeah. hitting the ball pretty well. Hitting okay. the ball dead center. I, I'm going to just, I mean, he's probably certainly gearing up for fastball and maybe sure. racked. Maybe saw that saw that ball up, thought it was a hanger. I mean, right. when you're, I mean, he's pretty locked in right now. We'll, 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 we'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. One, two. Reach for and dribble to third, charging and stepping on the bag is Guerra for the force to retire the side. So Holder is out on the fielder's choice. Nevada, nothing across, no runs, one hit, two men left. To the sixth we go, Beavers eight, Nevada four. This is Wolfpack Baseball from Liverpool. Locally owned and operated for over 20 years, we do everything plumbing. And as the premier vendor for Renai, Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air is your expert in tankless water heating technology with endless hot water on demand. Call Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air to upgrade your system today. Watch high school baseball on Champion Chevrolet's High School Grand Slam, presented by America First Credit Union. Tune in Saturday, April 20th at 5 on Nevada Sportsnet. You're watching Nevada Sportsnet. come to bat leading at Nevada eight to four top of the sixth inning eight runs five hits no errors for Oregon State they got one in the first and seven in the fourth four runs six hits one error for the home team Nevada they got four in the bottom of the first Bud Light is a proud sponsor of Wolfpack Athletics Bud Light easy to drink easy to enjoy and Coldwell Banker Select is your official real estate partner of the Nevada Wolfpack contact the number one real estate company in northern Nevada for all your real estate needs 775 688 4800. Zach Bash and John Ramey with you as the Beavers bring up 8 9 and 1 here in the visitors 6. Trotsky, Smith, and Macias. Hello to those of you listening on the Varsity Network app and the Varsity Network.com on the audio side. Hello to our television audience on Nevada Sportsnet and the Mountain West Network. Eddie Tierney's first pitch is low and away to Jabin Trotsky. 1 0. Trotsky walked and scored as part of that seven run fourth. He's 0 for 1 officially. The 1 0 is a low strike. One ball and one strike to Trotsky, the second baseman, who is playing for. Travis Bazana, who left the game in the third yesterday. The MRA was negative. Bazana is okay. Strike on the outside, one and two. He was hit by a pitch. Was Bazana on the hand? But everything's okay. 
for the star Beaver infielder. One, two pitches outside, two balls and two strikes to Trotsky, who's filled in quite capably. Two runs scored in this two game midweek series. He's also flashed the leather. 2 2. Lin side out swing, jammed him to second base, bobbled there by Hirata, and no play. So Trotsky is aboard as Harada had to charge that ball. It got past the mound and a lot of English on it and then just not cleanly handled on the glove side by Harada. We do not see a scoring decision yet. A runner at first and nobody out and here's Smith. And that is an error. It wasn't the easiest play in the world, but I suspect Harada thinks he should have made it. Flickering a bunt is Smith. He takes ball one high and away. One ball and no strikes. So, eight runs, five hits, no errors for Oregon State. Four runs, six hits, two errors for Nevada. The Pack has now committed eight errors in fewer than two games after committing 30 in their first 31 games. That's outside. Two balls and no strikes to Smith. You talked about the Bizano hit by pitch yesterday. It was a little bit kind of like that ripple effect where because he's such a big name and such a star and it's draft year for him, a little bit of like a ripple effect around college baseball. 2-0 pitches inside 3-0. I know you were getting texts, people oh, yeah. talking, oh, a, lot yeah. of, a lot of chatter around the ballpark, and it's a, it's a bummer that, you know, it has to be revolving around our program, but, you know, it certainly was like anything else. Like if Mike Trout gets hit in the hand, it's going to be a talk news, around. Yeah. yeah, it was a... Strike on the outside, three and one to Smith. It's a scary situation, and and you know nobody wants to see it, as we said. And it was just kind of interesting to see, like college baseball reacted. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Three one. It's low ball four, so an error and a walk to start the Beavers sixth. And Rot professional baseball, for that matter. I mean, right. scouts talk, you know, that's yes. affecting draft order and draft reports. And you're a scout. You're, you know, he's got scouts at every game watching him. Now they got to write into his, how's his hand look? I mean, this is the rest of the year. It's going to be a question, right? Even, you know, they do all kind on the top picks for sure. They're doing their own medical, you know, there's always, who was it a couple years ago, Kumar Rocker, that there was the big controversy about the MRI. Remember the Mets did an MRI? They didn't that's like it. That's right. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's not probably to that effect, but. Macias takes a strike on a fastball, nothing and one to Dallas, who was hit by a pitch with the bases loaded to drive in a run in the fourth. He does not have a hit in this one. He has brought a 12-game hit streak into tonight. Trotsky at second, Smith at first, and Owen won the count. The pitch. Macias hits it high and deep to right. Let's see if it goes. Waller, he has room. He makes the catch. Tagging is Trotsky going to third. I was fooled on that bash. I, I thought he got it. I respectfully agree. I, I was right there with you. I thought that ball was long gone. We see the, the flag. Happened to not be blowing that that a bat, but I think it's more that that straightaway center and not the left to right that we saw yeah. earlier. But I was with you off the bat. I thought that ball was off the scoreboard. So Macias is out. Trotsky tags and moves to third. Smith still at first, and Nat Turley, who had the grand slam in the fourth. You do get trained a little calm games here, Bacoli. Yeah. Pitches a strike on the outside, and it's nothing in one to Turley, who has the grand slam, a single. Two runs scored. Because you're trained your whole life to kind of see balls off the bat. You, you know, you and I have both watched many, many hundreds or probably thousands of baseball yes. games. The 0 1 outside, 1 and 1. And we don't have the benefit of the track man in the booth of exit velo and all that, but you know, you just you see a ball off the bat, it, it sounds a yeah. certain way, you see it trajectory. Yeah, you're kind of like, and then you come to Reno and you're like, oh, you kind of got to retrain yourself. Okay, like this is a little different here. 1 1 pitch is a strike on the outside, 1 and 2 to Turley. And now the wind switched today, and now I'm like retraining myself back to like normal baseball. I'm like, now I'm, now I'm all confused, right? Like, I thought I figured this out. Well, that's why no matter what, you watch the outfielder. Yeah, you're right. And even outfielder half the time doesn't doesn't exactly know what's going on. You start seeing him drift in, and then you see him sprinting, and then you see him coming in and going out, and you're like, they're, they're just as confused as we are. An offensive timeout here for Hurley. Get some words of advice. 
count one ball and two strikes. Trotsky at third, Smith at first, one out, top of the sixth, eight for Beavers. The light's taking effect now. The one two with the runner bluffing from first. It's low. It gets through the wickets of Wilson. Trotsky's coming home. He slides without a throw. 9 4, Oregon State. Looks like a change up there. It just kind of snuck through the wickets. Right under the glove. It's in the dirt. That's a wild pitch. For Tierney, his seventh. Smith moves to second base for Oregon State on the wild pitch. 9 4, Beavers. The 2 2. Swing and a miss. Fastball. Turley strikes out. Two outs. Smith at second. A run is in without the benefit of a hit here in the sixth for Oregon State. They lead it 9 to 4 at Nevada. And now Mason Guerra, who doubled in a run and scored in the fourth. He's one for three. An error. And that base runner has scored. That's to the backstop and wild, and Smith moves to third. So that's eight wild pitches on the year now for Cherney. Smith to third, one ball and no strikes. So that's two unearned runs in this game, surrendered by Nevada pitching to go along with seven yesterday. The 1 0 rides in for a strike, and it's 1 and 1 to Guerra. Twilight and Truckee Meadows. Wind still blowing out to center. Fouled straight back to the screen. 1 and 2. It's 60 degrees currently. Still very mild. Really pleasant night. And you can have the window of the press box fully open and you're not going jacket and you're not warm. It's, it's heaven. It's perfect. The one, two. That's a line drive. Base hit to right center field. Smith is in. Guerra going to second base as that one goes all the way to the wall. Now Guerra going to third. And he'll make it without a throw. Mason Guerra, a triple and an RBI. Smith is in. It's a two-run sixth, and Oregon State leads it 10-4. Now batting the shortstop, number three. So the error and the walk both score. Guerra's triple is the first hit of the frame. Here's Hainline with a runner at third and two outs. And two more unearned runs as... There would have been three outs if you recreate the inning. First pitch is down low. One ball and no strikes. Ten runs, six hits, no errors for Oregon State. Four runs, six hits, two errors for the silver and blue. B-1-0. Tap foul, third base side. Third base dugout. 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one, one from Tierney. Fastball. 1-2. and two. You remember all that controversy with Rocker? Vaguely, yeah. I remember the Mets didn't approve of a physical he had received. Is that right? Something along those lines, yeah. I don't remember exactly, but... 1-2 pitch is high, 2-2. Two and two. But with those high picks, it gets dicey. I don't think a hit-by-pitch on a hand is probably no. quite like an MRI of a shoulder or elbow, but, but it does, it kind of evoked that memory of that's how deep you know when you're giving millions of dollars to a youngster 2-2 two -two pitch popped up back a third foul ground a call is there and he puts it away side retired main line pops out foul to third base but the beavers tack on two more runs one hit one man left there was an error bottom of the sixth coming up oregon state leading 10 to 4 at nevada this is what We've been in the biggest little city since its very beginning. We brought clean water to our city's first buildings and homes, when that wasn't easy to do. As our city has grown, we've grown with it. Since 1893, we've been trusted to do the right things the right way. 
Whether it's delivering innovative ideas for the buildings shaping our future, or making sure your leaky faucet leaks no more. That's the Savage way, and it has been for over 130 years. The reigning champs are making another run for the cup. Score! Starting now, every minute counts. The Vegas Golden Knights hopes the Anaheim Ducks. Covered starts Thursday night at 6.30, only on NSN. Gridiron greats. I had won three MVPs in a row. You may have thought, that guy's not worried about his job. I always was worried about my job. On the next In Depth with Graham Bensinger. Sunday at 6.30 on Nevada Sportsnet. for Oregon State. It's Noah Ferguson, redshirt junior out of Salem, Oregon, taking over for Ian Lawson as the Beavers bring a 10-4 lead into the bottom of the sixth inning. Ten runs, six hits, no errors for Oregon State. Four runs, six hits, and two errors for the Wolfpack. Lawson goes four innings in relief of Leif Palmer. Lawson strikes out three, walks one, does not allow a run, gives up just one hit. And now he hands the baton to Noah Ferguson. Ferguson on the year, 1-0 with a 3-0-9 ERA. This is his 10th appearance all in relief. Ferguson has worked 11 and two-thirds. He's allowed four earned runs on 10 hits. 14 strikeouts, nine walks, and opposing batters at 250 collectively against him. He has not surrendered a home run. Nevada will bring up Wilson, Waller, and a call, five, six, and seven. Here in the home sixth inning, down 10 to four. The Beavers got one in the first, seven in the fourth, and two in the top of this sixth inning. And MMS Events Unlimited Mobile Stage can elevate your concert, speaker, or special event. Book yours today at BiggestLittleStage.com and rise above the rest with MMS Events Unlimited. Work to do for the Wolfpack offense that has not been heard from since a four spot in the first. Wilson was part of that four spot in the first. He had a solo home run. He's one for two, flat out to left his last time up. Nolan Wilson, four home runs now on the year, 26 runs batted in, came in hitting 276. Ferguson. From the extreme first base side of the rubber, pours a fastball for a strike on the outside corner. Nothing in one. We do not have a radar gun, Zach Bash. That felt firm. I the hand. almost was about to say yeah. those exact same words. Yeah, we're pretty close. We can, you know, we can sense when there's a step up and velo. Here's the 0-1. It's a breaking ball that squirts out towards shortstop. Charging, Hainline fires in time and got it. Wilson is out number one in the home six. Base is empty for Jackson Waller. Hainline's been impressive out there all the last two days. I mean, you'd expect that from a top-tier program to have a top-tier shortstop. He's made every play. He's made it look easy, smooth out there. He's got a great arm. Good hands. Yeah, he's had he's had a lot of chances and not disappointed. Looks like a big leaguer. Waller's 0 for 2. Righty on righty. Ferguson comes home. Fastball low. One ball and no strikes. Noah Ferguson, 5'9", 191 pounds. From Salem, Oregon. The capital of Oregon. The 1-0. -oh. That's up high. Two balls and no strikes. Jackson struck out looking in the first and flat out to left in the fourth. It's 10-4 Oregon State here in the sixth. A 2-0. It's a strike. The outside half, 2-1. and one. Lights in full effect now. Three beavers on the left side of the infield as Trotsky is part of a shift. 
Here's the 2 1. Waller lays off, and that's a strike on the outside. 2 and 2. Wind still blowing out to center slash right center. 11 miles an hour. 2 and 2. Ferguson. Fastball low and away, three and two. Ferguson doesn't use a windup. Works from the stretch and is so closed off in his stretch position, he's almost pointing his back towards home plate. It's not quite that perpendicular. But you can read the number on his back when he comes set from behind home plate. The pitch outside. Fastball misses ball four. So Waller is aboard with one out on the walk. Justin Acole, that's for the Wolfpack with a runner at first and one out. It's 10 to four, Oregon State in the last of the sixth. Acole singled in the first, fly out to right in the fourth. Trotsky goes back to the right side of the infield now. So two defenders on either side of second base. Orthodox alignment for the Beavers infield defensively. First pitch, call takes a strike at the heart of the zone, nothing in one. Ten runs, six hits for the Beavers. Four runs, six hits for the Wolfpack. Turning point was a seven run fourth for Oregon State. The 1 breaking ball pulled fair inside third and down the left field line. Waller being sent home. Waller had slowed down. Here he comes. Here's the throw. He slides. Keith. Ten to five. Waller had slowed down, and then Jake McKinley gave him the go sign. A call gets all the way to third. Picks up the RBI. That ball took a funny hop off the wall, and I think it was so close. I mean, it plays right in front of Jake McKinley, who coaches third for the pack. Yeah, I feel like Macias played the carom as we wait on a replay on the television side. I don't think he misplayed it. I think it just took kind of a, a weird hop. And it took Macias a little time to get there? Yeah. So now runner at third. Waller is in. It's 10-5 Beavers. Showing Bunt Katakutan takes a strike. Nothing in one. And yeah, when it hits that sidewall, the, the field kind of has those angled walls down there. And, and as an outfielder, you, you tend to want to go to the corner of the field. And when it hits that sidewall, it kind of bounces back. So then you got to re, reroute yourself. Right, the ball you think is going towards the wall, and then it's going towards center field. Swing and a miss. Katakutan waving in vain at that one. 0-2 oh to Josh. So a one-out walk, followed by a calls RBI double. He advances to third on the throw. 0-2 oh with a runner at third and one out. Katakutan can play to run with a productive out. It's a fastball inside. One ball and two strikes. So Nevada scores for the first time since the first. Ten runs, six hits for the Beavers. Five runs, seven hits, two errors for the Pack. A lot of game left. I wouldn't start writing the recap just yet. <laughs> Here's the one-two. In the air to left. Moving over, Macias. Reader coming over. Macias! Caught for the out. Coming in is a call. Sacrifice fly. Macias swimming after that in left center. Sack fly from Katakutan. And it's 10 to 6. Productive out. So here's Hirata with the base is empty. Uh, two runs in here. So we see the replay. That was driven to the opposite field, and Macias kind of lunging after that one. Pretty good catch. Pretty good catch by Macias. Righty on righty, here's Harada. Ferguson's pitch. Outside, one ball and no strikes. Harada's 0 for 2. Struck out swinging his last time up. One. 
one and oh. The pitch in there for a strike. One and one to Hirata. Bodies moving now in the Oregon State pen. Nobody throwing. One and one. The pitch. Hirata takes outside. Two and one. Good fight by the pack so far. Second day in a row. They, they've had a sizable deficit. And even yesterday, I mean, the final was 12 5. It didn't look like a close game. But even later in the game, they had runners on. They left a bunch of guys on base. I mean, that game could have been 12 8, 12 9 pretty easily. And then once you get to that point, who knows what can happen. 2 1 breaking ball. Tumbles in for a strike. And it's 2 and 2. If the same thing could happen tonight. We're only in the bottom of the sixth. It's a four run game. Count adjusted to three and one. The pitch, swing and a miss. Just kidding. It was two and two, and down he goes. Arata strikes out on the side, is retired. Nevada gets two back in the bottom of the sixth. We go to the seventh, Oregon State 10, Nevada 6. Wolfpack baseball from Learfield. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. Uh, the pain in my feet was excruciating. I couldn't do my regular activities. I couldn't walk my dogs. I couldn't, you know, go to the gym without my feet hurting. I couldn't, I wasn't living my full life. And then all of a sudden, I just get these arch sports and I'm just able to get out of bed and do my normal activity without any pain. It changed my life, drastically. And you know, I do have good feet, <laughs> you know? <laughs> my name's Lisa and that's my good feet story. See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. Do their passions and make a difference. State 10, Nevada 6. Top of the seventh inning. Beavers bring up Craig, Reeder, and Tolt, 5, 6, and 7. And a new pitcher for the Wolfpack. Eddie Tierney is done. He goes two and a third. He allows two runs, neither of which were earned on one hit. He strikes out two and he walks one, and he gives way to Ian Hughes. Redshirt sophomore right-hander. Hughes takes the baton in the seventh. Hughes, seventh appearance. He's worked five innings. He's allowed eight earned runs on five hits, four strikeouts, five walks. He has surrendered two home runs, opposing batters at 294. Against Ian Hughes, the redshirt sophomore right-hander, 6'4", 215-pounder from Twin Falls, Idaho, and Columbia Basin College. Zach Bash and John Ramey with you from Don Weir Field, Piccoli Park in Reno, Nevada. Ten runs, six hits, no errors for the Beavers. Six runs, seven hits, and two errors for the Wolfpack. First pitch in the dirt. Ball one to Jacob Craig, one and zero. Oh. Craig is 0 for two with a walk and a run scored. One and zero. Oh. Hughes doesn't use a windup. Big right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. Ball diving down in the zone, and it's one and one. Big right-hander. How about you just like um, half his feet? You know, like maybe we do like. <laughs> Hughes at one and one comes home. Check swing ball in the dirt. No swing on the appeal. Travis Schatzman says no swing. Two and one. The pitch. Swing and a foul tip held by Wilson. And it's two and two. Two and two. 
Hughes deals. Foul tip on the swing held by Wilson. And Craig strikes out swinging. One out in the visitor's seventh. And here's Cannon Reader. Good downward trajectory on those fastballs. You don't even need me. I was just <laughs> going to say that. Why am I even here? I'm stealing money. <laughs> Yeah, did Just, that that's, downward trajectory that's impress a, you? That's absolutely what's happening out there. That's Is that a, good, a natural sink? That's a good, I don't even know if it's sink. It's, I mean, yeah, it's certainly, it's just got, it's a heavy ball. Breaking ball outside the reader one and call that a heavy fastball. Yeah. And, it, and it's, you know, I don't know if it's a two-seamer or a four-seamer, but it certainly has some great downward movement. I was, I, I'm not, why am I even here? You still one out. Breaking ball for a strike. One and one to Reader, who's 0 for 3. You could do a whole game just by yourself, different voices, and just be, be an analyst. I, I don't even do different voices. I can do a whole game by myself. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, so you, you, I the, should you're the fun. analyst. Yeah, yeah. you're, you're t tossing it to yourself, you know. Chopped a third on a 1-1 pitch, charging a call, throws on the move, and got him. A call is... Had a throwing error at third, but has also played the position pretty well, getting the balls. Number six, Easton Tall. <laughs> Here's Tall with two outs and the base is empty. It's 10 6 Oregon State in the top of the seventh. It helps having a shortstop over there at third. I mean, you've seen that a lot. The big leagues, like a Machado type guy that goes, goes from short to Matt third Williams. To short. Northern Nevada's Matt Williams. Sure. Famously in a different era. Carson's finest. Yeah. The pitch, he runs up to Bunny Bunts on the third base side, a call, picks, fires from foul ground, and he cannot get him as the throw gets away from Pierce. That was a very tough play, and Talt was flying down the line. A perfect bunt right there. And that is a hit, and that was a perfect bunt. Down the line, forcing a call who was playing off the line. Yeah. And the fact play. that a call made that even close is a testament to yeah. his athleticism moving around down there. But Two out bunt single. Trotsky bats with a runner at first for the Beavers. Ten runs, seven hits for Oregon State. I don't think Nolan Arenado in his prime is going to make that play. That was a very good bunt. Yeah. Six runs, seven hits for Nevada. Hughes fastball high. One ball and no strikes. <laughs> Yeah, the heavy fastball. That's a fastball with a downward trajectory. I guess that is different to a natural sink. Well, I think it's a slight a, variation. A, a separate phenomenon. Same idea. Yeah. The 1 0 with the runner going is outside. The throw from Wilson's a good one, but too good of a jump from Talt. Talt, straight steal a second. He's two for two on the year. Got a real good jump. So, a runner in scoring position with two outs. And again, here come the relentless Beavers. They don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. They don't stop. 2-0 to Javin Trotsky. We're told it's second and two outs in the top of the seventh. Hughes checks the runner and comes to the plate, and that's up and in. Three balls and no strikes. Nevada pitching has issued six walks tonight. They have also hit one batter. Plus the two errors, the 3-0 pitch. Ladder high strike, three and one. I think despite how this one ends up or how this two game series ends up, you, you got a lot of guys like a Hughes, for example, a Tierney who don't get a ton of conference innings, who maybe aren't the, the one and two guys out of Penn, the O'Neills and the Burfields. To the left side, cut off by a call, his throw in time. Trotsky. Runs out to third, side retired. A two out single, but nothing doing. No runs, one hit, one man left. Time to stretch it, Piccoli. Middle of the seventh. It is Oregon State 10 and Nevada 6. Wolfpack baseball from Learfield. It's Champion Chevrolet's big April award-winning Chevy sale. Yes, folks, Champion has the largest inventory of GM-certified used cars and trucks with award-winning deals. Like a 2023 Mitsubishi Outlander, $395 a month. A 2022 Dodge Charger, $470 a month. A 2023 Chevy Blazer, $598 a month. Or a 2023 Chevy Traverse, just $44,984. Don't miss the big April award-winning Chevy sale. Only at Champion. Can you believe there are some personal injury attorneys who are more comfortable in front of a camera than a courtroom? At Bradley Adrenaline Janae, 
Our lawyers might be a little camera shy when it comes to commercials, but get them in a courtroom arguing your case and you'll be in for an amazing show. After all, your case is always more important than a commercial, even this one. Bradley, Drendel, and Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. Copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Expressed written consent of the University and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the University. For the seventh inning, Nevada comes to bat, trailing 10-6. Top of the order, Pierce, Ball, and Freedy, one, two, and three. For the home team. And Ferguson, the right-hander, remains on the mound for Oregon State. Happy to have you with us wherever you may be on this Wednesday evening. A lovely spring night in the Truckee Meadows. Pierce is one for three. Fly out to right in the fifth inning, his last time up. It's 10-6 Oregon State, a swing and a miss. Pierce went after that big Ferguson fastball and didn't get it. Nothing in one. Ten runs, seven hits, no errors for the Beavers. One in the first, seven in the fourth, two in the sixth. Six runs, seven hits, two errors for the Pack. Four in the first, two in the sixth. Oh, and one to Pierce, and here it is. Fly ball to right. Turley moves back. He's got room. And he holds it in, in front of the track. One out in the home seventh, and here's Michael Ball. Yeah, it's easy to throw around. We're talking about kind of guys getting experience, and it's like kind of cliche to say, oh, I'll get experience, experience this. But, but really, if the pack wants to advance and, you know, make the conference tournament and win the conference tournament this year, they're going to need, I mean, it's easy to say, oh, yeah, Doc will go eight, and we'll throw Neil in there for the sake. It's like, it doesn't always work like no, that, right? You're going to need They're going to need some guys outside of kind of the core group, if you will, of, you know, Doc Torzik and first pitch misses after showing bunt was ball. One ball and no strike. Well, we've seen Doc Torzik go eight, eight and third. And, you know, he's got the ability to go eight. And we've seen Ethan O'Neill's kind of emerged as, you know, a top line reliever. And they have some, they have guys for sure. But there's going to be a game somewhere, whether it's in conference play to get in the tournament or in the early rounds of the tournament. The 1 0. Reached for and missed. One and one to ball. Where something's, you're going to need a couple innings out of an Eddie Tierney or, or a Hughes or someone like that. And these kind of games, it's 10 6, it's a Wednesday night. You know, the, the game, it's not a non conference game, but you're playing a top tier opponent. You're getting a few more innings under your belt. They're going to remember these, these outings and, and kind of show coach that they can show up. 1 1 pitch, swing and a miss. Ball is chased two. One ball and two strikes. Ball singled on the first pitch he saw in the fifth inning. He's one for three. Or an extra inning game. I mean, that's, uh, you know, it's two, that's two. bound get, to happen. Yeah, you get eight season. out of Dr. Torsi. You get two out of the bullpen. All of a sudden, it's the 12th. Ball swings and misses. The breaking stuff was too much for him there. And you need a couple innings out of Ian Hughes. I mean, it's gonna, there's going to be games like that. And, and these types of outings here, you show, you show Jake. I mean, this team's still finding itself, still a young team. You know, and all these guys are still getting better every day. And, and Jake will remember games like this, you know, when it's the eighth inning or the 12th inning or the 14th inning or whatever's happened or, or the even, third inning. Even at Air Force when you've got to win an extra third of the yeah, game. Yeah, perfect, perfect example, yeah. Got that halted, halted game <laughs> that they're going to finish. Breaking ball to Freethe for strike one, nothing in one, two outs, bases empty, bottom of the seventh, 10-6 Oregon State. We learned the other day they're going to finish that halted game before the first game of the new series. That's right. A Friday night conclusion and then a full Friday night That's contest right. afterwards. The 0 1 pitch is down low. One ball and one strike to free it. It'll be a long day at the academy. It's, yeah, it's a, I mean, I guess on a tr it's a tough. A little bit of an odd way to do it, but that's the how the rules are in conference, and that is what we shall do. Swing and a miss on a pitch down and in. One ball and two strikes to J.R. Freedy. 
who singled in the first, grounded out to second base in the third, and walked in the fifth. Halted game. Halted. Due to a wintry mix. It was, it was a wintry for sure. <laughs> One and two. Ferguson a strike away. The pitch. Got him. Boy, for as impressive as Ferguson's fastball has been, the breaking stuff really was poison to the top third of Nevada's order in the seventh. Pierce, Bowl, and Freethe retired in order. No runs, no hits, nobody left. Ferguson making it happen for the Oregon State pen. Beavers 10, Nevada 6. Going to the eighth. Wolfpack baseball. At the Joint Chiropractic, we believe that everyone should have access to high-quality, affordable chiropractic care. You are never too young or too old to start taking care of your body. Walk-ins are welcome at any of our five Northern Nevada locations for just $29, seven days a week. Plus, as a monthly member, you can get treatment at any of our 900 nationwide locations. Stop living with pain. Try the Joint Chiropractic today and give your body the relief it needs. Dear unbreakable spirit, when the terrain is gnarly, you steady us. When obstacles are ahead, you lift us. When the turf is hostile, you inspire us. Own a legend, Toyota Trucks. Get 1.99% APR financing for up to 48 months on a new Tundra, or get 4.99% APR financing for up to 60 months on 4Runner. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Six Oregon State as we move to the eighth inning here in Reno. Colby Kometko is the new pitcher for the Wolfpack. Kometko has been used sparingly this year. He was the pack closer last year. And he's been battling. He was sick for a while earlier in the season and hasn't really been able to return to form hasn't really had an opportunity to return to form. So Kometko is on. This is his eighth appearance. He takes over for Ian Hughes. Hughes went one inning, gave up one hit, and recorded a strikeout. It's 10-6 Oregon State. Top of the eighth inning, and the Beavers bringing up 9-1-2, and two, Smith, Macias, and Turley. Ten runs, seven hits, and no errors. Oregon State, six runs, seven hits, and two errors for the pack. And Colby Kometko, senior right-hander out of Phoenix, Arizona, transfer from Washington State. Kometko, eighth appearance. He's worked seven and a third. He's given up eight earned runs on eight hits. Six strikeouts, seven walks, and opposing batters at 308 against him. So Kometko becomes the fourth Wolfpack pitcher of this game. Tanner Smith has walked three times and scored twice. Nine hitter, catcher for the Beavers. First pitch outside. One ball and no strikes. Pitching in relief to me and pitching in general, but I think specifically relief pitching, and maybe this is just because it was it's my vantage point of the position. 1-0 pitch is low, 2-0. But for me it was I wanted to pitch all the time to stay sharp. Like I'd rather pitch sore a lot than get rest and, and pitch more sparingly. It's just such a feel and timing thing. And sometimes it takes 2-0 pitches, golfed foul, wide a third on the ground, 2-1. Might take a few pitches. It might take a few innings. It might take a few outings to get a rhythm. But all of a sudden, if you're three outings, it takes you to get a rhythm or spaced out between 13, 14, 15 days. You never really get in the zone or, or any kind of rhythm or timing or, you know, we talk about repeatable delivery. It's the same kind of thing. You, you want to, it's muscle memory. You want to get out there. I, I just always wanted to throw because I felt like I was better if I was throwing a lot, even if I was a little tired. 2-1. Low and away, 3-1. and one. I have heard pitchers talk about how their stuff's actually better once they get a little positive fatigue going. For me, it was. I mean, I, I think everyone's different, obviously, but... Uh, and college, college is tricky because you got these kind of high leverage weekends 
3 1 pitch outside ball four, leadoff walk issued by Kometko to Tanner Smith. And it's a blessing and a curse, right? Like you got Doc Torres going out there throwing seven, eight innings every Friday night. You got a closer that's been pitching well. All, all of a sudden you get to Sunday and maybe you've only had two relievers throw or maybe one if you're having a great weekend. You get a complete game in there somewhere. And then it becomes the next Tuesday, you get a good outing on Tuesday. You, you might have a reliever go two, three weeks without throwing, and it's not because Jake doesn't want to get in action or any other reason, just the flow, the way baseball works, the way the schedule works. First pitch is outside to Dallas Macias. One ball, no strikes. He makes in an injury, like you said, or an illness. All of a sudden, you got, you know, less than 10 innings, at, you know, halfway through the season. It's just kind of the nature of baseball. The 1-0. Breaking ball is a strike on the outside to Macias, who is 0 for 4 with an RBI. Make it 0 for 3 with an RBI. He was hit by a pitcher. The bases loaded in the fourth. 1-1. One, one. Macias takes low two balls and one strike. And I never felt like throwing bullpens really, you know, you got to throw bullpens. You got to work on stuff. But the, it never matches the adrenaline of a game. 2-1 pitch. Cued foul out of the third base line, two and two. Yeah, you can't replicate you the violence can't. of the competition. Yeah. I mean, there's just no, for me, it just never worked. I mean, I, I, you got to do it, and I do it, and all you get out of the game, your, your mind's going faster, your body's going faster, the crowd's, you know, there's just so many other factors. 2-2 two -two pitch from Kometko. Bounding ball foul wide of first. So that game experience to me was second to none. I just wanted as much of it as I can. And the times that I was good, I, I had years and half years and quarter, you know, streaks, two, three weeks here where I was really good. A couple weeks where I was bad, I, you know, stringed together maybe a good, really good season. And then I had a really bad season. I mean, it can snowball a whole season. And so I felt like when I was good. 2-2 two -two pitch. Got him swinging. Down goes Macias. So after the leadoff walk, Kometko retires the top hitter in the order on a swinging strikeout. Now here's the two hitter, Gavin Turley, with a runner at first and one out. It's 10 6 Oregon State, batting in the visitors' eighth. When I was good, I was throwing a lot. That's uh, Maybe it was coincidence. Maybe I was throwing a lot because I was good. You know, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of a chicken and egg situation, but I, I always just felt better the more the more I was pitching, and, and I think probably a lot of certainly relief pitchers and probably started as well feel that way. That is popped up. Back of the plate foul. Wilson mask off, and that is out of play. On the roof of the press box with a muted thud. <laughs> 0-1 to Turley, who had a grand slam in the fourth. The biggest number in the, uh, well, that's the cataclysmic half inning of this game. Seven run top of the fourth. Oregon State wiped out a 4-1 Nevada lead and seized the lead they have not relinquished. Pitches down and in, and it's one ball and one strike to Turley. The proverbial crooked number, if you will. Crooked number. It's a great baseball term. Love it. Look up on the scoreboard, and one of those numbers is... Looking pretty crooked. Does a two spot count as a crooked number? I, I think it does. Yeah, I, right? I think so. 1-1 one, one pitch fouled away. 1-2. and two. Maybe technically, but not in spirit. One, ones and zeros are certainly not. crooked. Not. I mean, they're Correct. pretty symmetrical and right. straight. 100% agree. The two borderline, Te I'd say. Technically crooked. I'd say three plus are certainly all pretty crooked. Yeah. The runner goes. The one-two pitch is inside, and it's two and two, and a stolen base for Smith without a throw. It's the first steal on the year for Tanner Smith. Runner at second, one out, two balls, two strikes to Turley. The pitch. Fooled him, swing and a miss. Nice change up. Change speeds. Turley strikes out, two strikeouts for Kometko, and you're seeing the swing and miss stuff from Kometko here. That was the reason he was the closer last year. Yeah, that was nasty. Here's Guerra, who tripled in a run in the sixth. Runner at second, two outs, 10-6 Oregon State, top of the eighth. Kometko, set, check second, deals. And that one's grounded to the right side. Hirata vacuums it up cleanly, fires to first. Side retired, so the leadoff walk does not hurt. Colby Kometko. 
He retires the next three in order. No runs, no hits, a man left. Bottom of the eighth. Coming up, Nevada's down four. The offense needs to get to work for the silver and blue. It's Oregon State, 10, and Nevada, six. Wolfpack Baseball from Learfield. Meet a doctor who connects all the dots. Oftentimes, people with low back pain, knee pain, or hip pain don't even recognize that it's actually coming from their feet. Their feet? For real? Absolutely, 100%. It can have a domino effect because their foot and their ankle aren't supported properly. Their whole body is out of whack. Getting back into whack? Good feet arch supports could help. Keeping your body in good alignment, that can go a long way. See what we can do for you with a free arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. These road trippers set to explore just one last person to see before it's Sam. Big O, Sam. Wherever they're headed, they stay on track. She's the gal that gets them there and back at Sam. Get $80 to $120 instant savings on four select in-stock tires. Plus, zero interest if paid in full within 12 to 6 months during our Spring in the Savings Sale. Big O Tires, the team you trust. State 10, Nevada 6, bottom of the eighth inning. New pitcher for the Beavers. Noah Ferguson is done. Ferguson goes two innings in relief. Gives up two runs, both earned on one hit. Strikes out three and walks one. And the new pitcher for Oregon State is A.J. Hutchison. A.J. is from Elk Grove. Just on the other side of the mountains. Hutchison will face Holder, Wilson, and Waller, four, five, and six for Nevada in the bottom of the eighth inning. Oregon State, 10 runs, seven hits, and no errors. A seven run fourth, the difference in the game when Oregon State took the lead back for good. Six runs, seven hits, two errors for the pack. They led four to one at the end of one. But that seven run fourth for the Beavers vaulted them into the lead and they have held on ever since. So Hutchison, Two and two on the year with a 3-5-2 ERA, and he drops down and fires that one down and in one bowl and no strikes to Taylor Holder, who had a home run, a three-run shot of the first. All seven of those runs came with two outs, too. Fastball outside, 2-0. and oh. Hutchison, 13th appearance, all in relief. He's worked 15 and a third. He's given up 600 runs on nine hits, 13 strikeouts, six walks. Opposing hitters at only 167 against him. 2-0, and, oh, and that side armor is outside. 3-0 and oh to Holder. Pretty righty-heavy lineup for the pack. And traditionally, of course, I don't have the splits on Hutchison, but traditionally the side armors are much tougher on righties than lefties. Well, so. it's because the ball's coming from behind your head, right, or behind that's, your hip. That's it's certainly one of the reasons, strike. yes. 3-1 and one now is that is into Holder. And the Frisbee slider, of course, is running away from you instead of going in on you. The pitch. Fastball low and away. Ball four. Lead off walk. Holder takes his base. That is the third walk issued by Beaver pitching in this ball game. Here's Nolan Wilson. Who had a home run in the first. He's one for three. Behind the plate tonight. 10-6 Beavers, runner at first with nobody out, bottom of the eighth. And the first pitch, fouled away off to the right, nothing in one. Was that your Frisbee slider right there? Oh, there it was. Yeah. Moves like a boomerang. Wilson was on it. I mean, it's first pitch slider. A lot of times if you see a, a swing at a first pitch slider off a side arm, you might see a, you know, flail. He was, he was on that. He was ready for it. Fastball outside, one and one. Kind of the drawback of, of the side armors nowadays is a lot of that stuff. Of course, every pitch is a little bit different, but once you've seen a few, one one pitch outside two and one. If you have a good approach, you're thinking opposite field. You know, I mean, that's really what you got to do. You can't try to jerk that. Um, you got to go oppo. You know, and then the pitcher knows that, so they're trying to jam you inside. There's a lot of kind of head games going on. But. Meeting on the mound now for the Beavers is the catcher. 
Smith goes out to talk to Hutchison, who has issued a leadoff walk and has fallen behind two and one here to Nolan Wilson. 10-6. Beavers with a four-run cushion, but four runs is a deficit that can be erased with one swing. Yeah, I mean, this is a ball game. I mean, it's certainly, you know, rather be up four than down four, but it's still a ball game. Pack has a runner on, nobody out here, and quick mound visit. You see one walk and a couple, two one count to the set. He was out there quick, just not messing around. Mid count timeouts and mound visits, very different that they happen in college. They don't happen in pro. Not a lot. Uh, I certainly, I just despise mound visits in general. I but, had a feeling you were going to say that. Why? Well, you even like the catcher coming out? Uh, not particularly. Well, I do everything. You know, it's 20. <laughs> what do I, I mean, come on. Pitch to the plate, misses, and it's three and one. It feels good to know everything. I when you're 20 and you know everything, well, what's a coach or a catcher going to tell you that you don't already know when you know everything? That's a great point. That's a great point, Zach Bash. Three and one. Pitch. Strike on the outside, and it's three and two to Nolan Wilson. Holder at first and nobody out. 10 6 Beavers, last of the eighth. Hutchison's 3-2 is low and away, ball four with a runner in motion. So Holder goes to second, Wilson walks, back-to-back -back walks to start the pack eighth. Here's Jackson Waller with runners at second and first and nobody out. Ten runs, seven hits, no errors for Oregon State. Six runs, seven hits, two errors for the Wolfpack. Waller walked and scored in the sixth. These over two officially. Hutchison set, checks the runner at second. Right-hander deals. Bounce to the right side. Diving spear by Craig. Throws to second, not held. Safe. So the bases are loaded, and the tying run will come to the plate with nobody out on the bottom of the eighth inning. Craig off the bag, made a nice knockdown, and then threw where it was not held at second base. So Holder to third, Wilson to second, Waller at first, and here's a call. I think that's a fielder's choice. He's six on the catch is my guess. I mean, that, it was an awkward throw, and he, he looked kind of falling down doing it, but the throw was certainly catchable. Fielder's choice, he's six. Yep. That was, that was the call. Justin the call is the tying run of the plate, and he takes strike one, nothing in one. 10-6 Oregon State. Nevada has loaded the bases with nobody out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Yeah, Craig's momentum was taking him to the bag, and he was kind of falling down. Fly ball to left. That'll stay in the yard. Racing over and making the catch on the move is Macias. Runners hold. That's a fine play in left. Yeah. It, off the bat, I thought that was routine, and then he started sprinting. I was like, that ball might fall. But it held up for him. And smartly, Holder held at third. Here's Josh Katakutan with the bases still loaded and one out. No really upside to sending him there with a four run deficit, nobody out. Dying run at the plate, one out. Double play would be salvation for the Beavers and Hutchison. There's strike one to Katakutan. Nothing in one, it's 10-6 Oregon State. Josh Katakutan, no home runs, no runs battered in on the year. Came in hitting 278. He's 0 for 2 with an RBI. There's a shot through in the left field, a base hit the other way. Holder is in. Here comes Wilson. He scores standing. Two RBI single for Katakutan. And it's 10 to 8, Oregon State. Nevada creeps closer in the eighth. Great for Josh. He's hasn't got a ton of at bats this year. He, he comes in a lot as a defense replacement late in the game, and it, and that you know he's such a team guy to do that. And it's great to see him come up with a in a big spot and get a knock for his club. Meeting on the mound, and that's the end of the line for A.J. Hutchison. Beavers are going to change pitchers. Nevada has brought home two in the eighth. It's Oregon State 10 and Nevada 8. Back after this pitching change.
You're watching Nevada Sports Net. It's Wolfpack Baseball from Learfield. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. It's Champion Chevrolet's big April award-winning Chevy sale. Yes, folks, Chevrolet has the most award-winning Chevys ever. And Champion has them all on sale now. Rates as low as 1.9% for 36 months and no payments for 90 days. Check out these award-winning deals. Like a 2024 Chevy Malibu RS, 322 a month. A 2024 Chevy Trax 1LS, 272 a month. Plus the 2024 Chevy Blazer EV RS all-wheel drive arriving daily. Only at Champion. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. Beavers go back to the bullpen. Nevada has scored twice here in the last of the eighth to tighten the affair at a 10 to 8 Oregon State. The tying runs are aboard for the Wolfpack. Waller at second. Katagutan at first after his two RBI single. Brought home Holder and Wilson. AJ Hutchison is out. He's responsible for the two runners aboard. Joey Munt comes on. Munt. 13th appearance, all in relief. He's 1 0 with a 1 8 0 ERA. In 15 innings, he's allowed three earned runs on seven hits. 15 strikeouts, seven walks, opposing hitters at only 143 against him. And Mason Hirata due up for the pack. Back to back walks to start the frame. Then a fielder's choice and an error low to the bases. Josh Katakutan's one out single the other way, bringing home two. Hutchison goes a third of an inning, gives up one hit, walks two, does not strike out a man, and he is responsible for the two base runners who are going, showing button, and the throw is airmailed. Oh, coming home from third is Waller on the double seal and the throwing error, and it's 10-9. to nine. Tanner Smith airmailed that throw to third. How about Jake McKinley playing a little Oregon State ball there, putting pressure on the defense late in the game, and a little taste of their own medicine there. The Hum Baby Wolf Pack steals a run on a double steal and a throwing error. So now the tying run is at third. The infield is in for the Beavers with one out of the eight. It's 10 to nine, Oregon State. Harada, bunts, and a foul ball. It's one and one. Double steal throwing error. My first pitch is, it's such a sneaky move when you're, you know, you come in the game as a reliever and you're just thinking, okay, I got guys on, I'm focused on the hitter, I got to get, get ahead, first pitch strike. Jake goes double steal first pitch. That's a savvy move. 1-1 one, one pitch is bunted, first base side, runners coming home. The only play is to tag Hirata. Katakutan is in and the game's tied at 10. With pressure on the defense. Harada executes with yeah. a bunt. I mean, they were playing for the bunt, too, and it still worked. I mean, that's, that's what happens. You put pressure on the defense. I thought that ball might go foul. I think Craig kind of got caught in no man's land where if you let it go foul, he's going to beat it out. So he's just like, I got to get the out. But, you know, I, I thought that ball was getting pushed a little bit. I mean, he picked it up pretty close. With the turf, you know, you don't get a lot of those balls that roll, you know, off the lip. But... First pitch to Jesse Pierce is a strike on the outside, nothing in one. Nevada has brought home four in the last of the eighth, and they have tied the Beavers at ten. Pierce is one for four. All four runs charged to Hutchison. Swing and a miss. Munt fooled Pierce badly, 0-2 to Jesse. Ten runs, eight hits, two errors for the pack. Ten runs, seven hits, two errors for the Beavers. Wasn't quite a suicide squeeze, kind of in between a, a, a safety squeeze and a suicide squeeze, if there is such a thing. That ball is bounced in front of the plate and goes over Smith. One ball and two strikes to Pierce. Katakutan wasn't, it wasn't a straight steal. Like no, no, a suicide he, squeeze yeah. where, you, where you do this kind of basically a straight steal, but he was certainly, he, you know, he had the sign. He knew what was happening. He was ready to roll. 
But if there's such a thing as kind of a halfway between a safety and a suicide, that's about what, what that was. One, two pitch is high and a little body language from Munt. He thought he had strike three cold. Two and two. Close pitch. 10 10 tie in the eighth. The 2 2 pitch. Line to left base hit. Pierce is aboard. Pierce takes the turn. Pierce puts on the brakes. So the eighth continues as Pierce singles with two outs. And that brings up Michael Bull. Ninth hit for the Wolfpack. Ten runs, nine hits, two errors for Nevada. Ten runs, seven hits, two errors for Oregon State. Ball, one for four. First pitch. The runner goes. Foul back. Strike one, nothing and one. All gas, no breaks. McKinley over here. Jake, Jake is bumbabian. Some of that beaver orange is bleeding into wow. the, the back dugout here with the aggressive calls. Late game, we had a couple double steal. First pitch, a little safety squeeze. Sending Jesse on the first pitch. I like it. The 0 1, the runner doesn't go, and a strike on the outside, and it's nothing in two to bowl. Hutchison charged with four runs, although only one of them was earned. Big theme of this two-game series. The tables have turned. 0-2 with two outs and a runner at first. 10-10 in the eighth. Ball takes outside. One ball and two strikes to Michael Ball, the Nevada shortstop and the two-hitter. Ball, six home runs on the year. Entered hitting 346. One and two. Messias is playing very deep and left. The runner goes. The pitch is swung on and missed. Ball chased it. And the side is retired. But Nevada strikes for four in the bottom of the eighth. And the game is tied at ten. As visiting Oregon State comes to bat in the top of the ninth. Stay with us. It's Wolfpack Baseball from Learfield. Dear unbreakable spirit, when the terrain is gnarly, you steady us. When obstacles are ahead, you lift us. When the turf is hostile, you inspire us. Own a legend. Toyota Trucks. Get 1.99% APR financing for up to 48 months on a new Tundra. Or get 4.99% APR financing for up to 60 months on 4Runner. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. I would have to hold my back as I got off the rug. But I didn't want to stop sitting on the floor because... That's why I do most of my teaching. After I decided my pain was too much, I went to the doctor and the doctor said it might be my feet. Suggested that I do visit the Good Feet store. After I went to the Good Feet store, I realized that you don't have to live in constant pain. They took my pain away. Hip, knee, or back pain? See if Arch Supports can help you at the Good Feet store. Ten tie as we go to the ninth inning. Nevada with a four spot at the bottom of the eighth. Pulling even with number five, Oregon State. New pitcher for the Wolfpack, Matthew Canizares. The right hander is on for Colby Kometko. Canizares from Queens, New York. Sophomore. Canizares. Sixth appearance on the year, all in relief. Does not have a decision. ERA of 506. And five and a third, he's allowed three earned runs on six hits. Four strikeouts, seven walks, opposing batters at 300 against him. He's not allowed a home run. Kometko goes one inning, strikes out two, walks one, does not surrender a hit nor a run. So tied at 10 in the ninth, Zach Bash. I'm not sure that's what we thought, but you said it. You said it's a ball game going to the eighth. Four-run ball game, and you said this is still anybody's affair. And, now here's Hainline to lead it off for the Beavers. Canizares is high with ball one. Hainline, Craig, and Reeder. Four, five, and six for Oregon State here in the visitors' ninth. Just felt like a different game than yesterday. Yep. In the seventh spot is the seventh spot. It happened. But the, just the way Nevada was playing, 
You know, I think they got a little Outside. bit shell shocked yesterday, you know, late in the game and like kind of what happened. But this game just had a little different feeling. I think a lot of that, Jake, you know, how he responded. No one panicked. Even today, I think they came back like we, we can play with this team. Here's a 2 0 to Hainline. That misses inside. Three balls and no strikes. Main line has a single and a double in this game for the Beavers. The 3 0 of high ball four. That's a leadoff walk to start the Oregon State ninth in a 10 10 tie. So a Hain line is aboard. Here's Craig, who after his career best six RBI day yesterday is over three with a walk and a run scored. Go ahead run is aboard for the Beavers with nobody out at the top of the ninth. It's a 10 10 tie. Hain line on the year's three for three stealing. Set the Wolfpack defense for you here in the ninth. Wilson behind the plate, a call at third, ball at short, Hirata at second, Pierce at first, holding Hainline the runner on. Free the end left, Katakutan in center, Waller in right for Nevada. Jacob Craig at the plate. Craig came in hitting 326. Main line at first, decent lead. Throw back over from Canizares, safe for the dive is Elijah. <laughs> Oregon State with one in the first, seven in the fourth, two in the sixth. Nevada with four in the first, two in the sixth, four in the eighth. Level at 10 in the ninth. And now a delay as Hainline needs to get something squared away after diving back into the bag. First, I thought it was maybe a contact. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Contact lens. And the uh, athletic trainer will go out to check on Hainline. That's a big preseason athletic trainer move. Before the season, you got to go to every player that wears contacts and get at least one of each eye in the kit. You know, they just carry on the kit. Yeah. So if you're a pro athletic trainer, which I assume these gentlemen are, that very like spring training thing, you know, wear a contact. Like, you got to have a contact. Got at least one. You have to. It's not really on the player to do that. I mean, college may be a little different, but it's a, it's a big league move to have a backup contact in the kit. You got to have them labeled. It's not the first time a contact's popped out during no. the ball game. Won't be the last. If that's even what happened, he could have got a pebble in his eye, one of those, you know, little pellets they use in the turf. Yeah, the rubberized pellets. Yeah. All right. Main line's okay. Craig at the plate. Main line at first. Nobody out. Top of the ninth. 10 10 tie at Nevada. And Azaris fires in the dirt, holding it first. Is Hainline. One ball and no strikes to Jacob Craig. One ball and no strikes. The pitch from Matthew Canizares is a strike on the outside, and it's one and one. The oxygen feels different now in the ninth. This game tied at 10. Certainly tightened up a little. Yeah. Tennis match quiet as the 1-1 one -one is low. Two balls and one strike. Last call a couple innings ago. These fans are braving the uh, mm. slightly cooling temperatures. So those that have have been rewarded with a nice pack comeback so far. The 2 1. Poured in for strike two. Two and two to Jacob Craig, the Beaver first baseman. Hain line at first after a leadoff walk. Two balls, two strikes. Kenazara is set. Here he comes. Swing and a miss. Change up. Yeah. 
Swung over the top of the off-speed pitch. Yeah, you see Craig way out on his front foot there on the replay. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ken Mazzaris, he, he was pumped up, too. He was, he's, he's feeling it. He knows what's going on. Cannon Reader, center fielder, six hitter. Hitless today for the Beavers. Runner at first, one out, 10-10 in the ninth. First pitch. Strike one from Canizares. Nothing in one. Reader was two for three with two runs scored in the Beavers' 12-5 win yesterday. Throw back to first. Save for the dive is Hainline. Ken, is our same thing? The guys, we've talked about. He's only thrown five innings this year. You know, it might take a batter or two, and probably it's going to take a few outings, but at least it takes you a couple pitches, maybe a batter to kind of get your bearings out there. Hasn't pitched in a while. Throwback to first. Safe as Hain line. Reader still waiting with a count 0 1. Ten runs, seven hits for the Beavers. Ten runs, nine hits for the Wolfpack. One out in the top of the ninth. The 0 1. In the dirt, nice block by Wilson. Runners back to first. Two balls and one strike. Kevin Zars just one inning pitched in the last month. In a midweek against Sac State? Well, that was, yeah, he, he did pitch against San Jose, but that was the only inning. Right. Since, yeah, since March 19th, he's only thrown one inning. That's a, that's a tough ask in a 10-10 game against the number five team in the country. 1-1 one, one pitch is a strike on the inside edge, and it's 1-2. and two. And Azara's ahead of the count of Reader, one ball and two strikes. The one two. Big chop foul wide a third. One ball and two strikes to Reader with Tolt on deck. Crowd's getting a little chippy here in the night. I like it. Both sides. Oh yeah. A lot of Beavers fans here. We talked about it last night. A lot of orange in the crowd. One and two. The pitch. Fouled again, wide a third. So Reader making Matthew Canizara's work. One ball and two strikes. Pain line at first, there's one out. A ball and two strikes. Canizara is set. To the plate he comes. It's in the dirt. Two balls and two strikes. Nice block by Wilson. Late late ball game. Tendency, you know, not an everyday catcher. Real easy to get lazy back there. And he's still working hard, getting the moving his feet. Nice little block there. Keep the runner out of scoring position. Two and two. The pitch. A pie and it's full. Catching so hard, you gotta be on every pitch. Focus, you're framing, you're blocking, you gotta think about the runner, you gotta think about the signs. Although the sign part of it has been taken away by the pitch comp. You still gotta think about what pitch is coming. Still gotta be still gotta be locked in every pitch. Three and two, the runner goes, the pitch is pulled foul wide a third. Three and two, it remains to Cannon Reader, the Beaver center fielder. We're getting to the three hour mark in this game. On a school night, no less. Even our scoreboard operator has school tomorrow. It's true. Three and two. Back to first. Main line is safe. That throw almost got away from Pierce. It remains three and two. And it's only April, but this is a good reminder of the kind of ebbs and flows of baseball drama in the postseason or in high tension situations. The game spins its own drama. Three, two pitches are called strike three on the inside half. Reader is down looking. Tough pitch.
pitch. Matthew Canizares, after a leadoff walk, dialing up back-to-back -back strikeouts of Craig and Reeder. 10-10 tie in the ninth. Easton Tult is scheduled to bat, but instead a pinch hitter for Oregon State. It's Wilson Weber who was the catcher yesterday, batting in the seventh spot. So they don't bat the lefty. They bring up Weber, a right-hand hitter. It's the DH spot. Runner at first, two outs, 10-10, top of the ninth. First pitch high and away, one ball and no strikes. Wilson Weber at 327, two home runs, nine runs battered in on the year. Weber yesterday was one for five with two runs scored. Canizar is 1-0, just low. Two balls and no strikes to Weber. Ten runs, seven hits, two errors for the Beavers. Ten runs, nine hits, two errors for the Wolfpack. Oregon State has the go-ahead run at first base with two outs in the top of the ninth, and it's 2-0 to pinch hitter Wilson Weber. Canizares for the pack deals. And that's low, and it's three balls and no strikes. Really don't want to get the... Go ahead, run in scoring position here. So look for Canizares to challenge up. 3 0 pitch is poured in there for a strike, 3 and 1. Too many free passes by the pack the last few days, and I think that, you know, the rest of the staff takes note of that, and you don't want to be the guy that adds to that total. The 3 1. Weber pops it up foul wide of first. Pierce tracking towards the home dugout. Pierce backpedaling, makes the catch in foul ground. Nevada survives the leadoff walk. The Beavers cannot capitalize. No runs, no hits, one man left. Nevada comes to bat on the bottom of the ninth inning with a chance to win it. It's a 10-10 tie with Oregon State. Wolfpack baseball from Learfield. The Wolfpack, you be Let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go! Let me help. Let me help. You've got this. You've got this. What makes for a great personal injury attorney? Is it how fancy your office is? Is it the size of your biceps? Or the size of your billboards? Nope, it's the hard work you put in every day to help your clients face the road ahead after an injury. But being able to read small print helps too. Bradley, Drenlin, and Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. Bottom of the ninth inning. Nevada will bring up three, four, and five. Free the Holder and Wilson. Holder and Wilson already have home runs in this game. Down 10 6, headed to the bottom of the eighth inning to the number five team in the nation. Nevada scored four runs to draw even at 10. Oregon State got a leadoff walk in the top of the ninth inning, but Matthew Canizares survived, retired the next three hitters, and now Nevada could win it in the bottom of the ninth. New pitcher for Oregon State. It's Bridger Holmes, junior right-hander from North Bend, Oregon. First pitch. Fastball strike to J.R. Free. The switch hitter swings from the left side. Nothing in one. Bridger Holmes leads the team with eight saves. He's 2-0. and He is not allowed an earned run all year long. He is only allowed one run, period. High fly ball to right down the line. Into the night it goes. Free. The walks off the Beavers. The 
does it, Zach. Nevada wins it 11-10. The old ambush slider. Low three quarters, sidearm spot against the lefty. That's right into the sweet spot. I've felt that pain many times. You get the lefty up there, you want to get ahead with your best stuff. Throw that slider, and that slider, just the way it goes, just goes right in that hitting zone of those lefties down and in. And it's just such a, just a beautiful pitch to hit for those lefty power hitters. And deep into the night sky, that was a no doubter. J.R. Freethy, solo home run to lead off the bottom of the ninth inning, completes a five-run unanswered comeback for Nevada as they rally down 10-6 in the bottom of the eighth. They win it 11-10 and hand the number five-ranked Oregon State Beavers just their sixth loss of the season. And Nevada wins for the seventh time all time against Oregon State. We really go back to the sixth. It was 10 to four in the sixth. And they had just given up a two spot. You got the bottom of the order coming up. Waller works the walk, the call doubles. And you just, you kind of felt then that they're like, we're not, yes, it's 10 4, you know, it's late in the ball game. We just gave up a couple runs. Come back with two. All right, now it's 10 6. Now it's, now we got a three, three innings to kind of do this. So, I mean, the, the late inning coming back was great. I mean, I didn't go back a couple innings more to make this a manageable game. It just it, it provides some belief as you get into those last three innings. Nevada earns a split with Oregon State. The Beavers take game one last night 12 to 5 and the Wolfpack with a thrilling comeback takes game two 11 10. The Beavers head to Berkeley. They'll face Cal in a Pac-12 series this weekend. Nevada gets ready to head to Las Vegas. They will face their Arch rival UNLV for three starting Friday night. That'll do it for us on the television side. Thank you to our outstanding director, Michael Harrison. Thanks to all of you who have been watching. We invite you to join us on the audio side on the Varsity Network app and the varsitynetwork.com for the Heritage Bank postgame show. And that's coming up. Once again, the final score Nevada 11, Oregon State 10. It's Wolfpack Baseball from Learfield. This is really a great work. I'm Jonathan Lawson. If you're 50 to 85, please listen closely. The lock I want to talk to you about isn't the one on your door. It's a rate lock for your life insurance that guarantees that once you're insured, your rate can never go up at any time for any reason. Many policies you see don't have one, but you can get a lifetime rate lock from Colonial Pen. This plan was designed for people on a fixed income with coverage options that start at $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate is locked in for life. Coverage can never be canceled and your acceptance is guaranteed. You cannot be turned down because of your health. See for yourself. Call for an information kit and gift. Both are free with no obligation. Call 1-800-367-7174 for your free information and your free gift. That's 1-800-367-7174. 1-800-367-7174. Call now. Is your house catching a cold? It could be furnace problems. Schedule a tune-up today. Call Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air for all your home heating needs. With over 20 years of being locally owned, Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air is your go-to for home heating because we treat our customers like family. Watch high school baseball on Champion Chevrolet's High School Grand Slam, presented by America First Credit Union. Tune in Saturday, April 20th at 5 on Nevada Sportsnet. Nevada Sportsnet is your home for all Wolfpack athletics. Welcome to Pure Outdoor, where this time around it's all about taking on the world at its wildest and coming out with a smile on your face. Kayaking first in its ultimate evolution as we spend time with a group of freestyle paddlers who travel the globe in search of white water. After which we'll focus on the skiers who give it their all when the camera's pointed in their direction. No second takes, no CGI, just raw footage from the world's best free ski stars.
also take a perfectly legitimate form of transport pioneered by folks living in a number of inhospitable corners of the globe. Then feed it to the 21st century crazies. They get rid of the wood, the canvas and animal byproducts and substitute carbon fibre composites, chop either end off radically short, then go off in search of guaranteed trouble. It feels like you're going like 50 miles an hour on a, on a speedway or something like that. It's that kind of thrill seeking that I guess uh, keeps me going. And you don't care how do you land or whatever happens afterwards, you just go really high. Super fun, super exciting. You're out on the wave and nothing else matters. It's a, it's a hard job, but when the time comes and you have that green pass and that perfect setup, then you just try to launch it as hard as you can and hopefully get the biggest trick in your life. And in the end, you just give high five to your friends. How did you enjoy it? Kayak freestyle world champion Nick Troutman from Canada and his friend Matthew Dumoulin from France. Two times European champion Gerard Sorosalsas from Spain. And Slovakian Peter Sonka, twice European champion and three times runner-up in the World Championships, are all travelling the world in search of the perfect wave. All four athletes are members of the Adidas Cycline Kayak team. They continually push themselves and their sports into new spheres, and in doing so, seem to defy the laws of gravity 